This is amazing. I was clash heads again. This is like Chaz Moskin. It's motorsport, but not as you know it. Test yourself and your everyday road car. Safe, affordable, but most of all, fun. And all you need is your daily driver. Experience the thrill of a sprint day. Race against the clock at a hill climb. Or test your reflexes with an auto test. It takes just three simple steps to get started. Get on the start line. Search Motorsport Australia Daily Driver today. Fishies in a row, they're here to make a point and to do Eddie proud. They fan out in the back, uh, background as they come down to turn one for the first time. It all looks pretty good, two by two. We'll stop the, the camera here. Oh, Eddie would be proud, mate. That was awesome run around turn one. But away, oh, contact with the fishies. Oh, He's made it through. It doesn't look like Angus has made it, but Thomas Freeman's made it through and Angus is going to suffer the crowd coming through there to be able to turn his car around. I love riding. It's a real social thing. There's a great bond between riders. Every weekend, I look forward to getting out there. It's a freedom like no other. Riding to work is a great way to start the day. Shannon's ensure all types of road bikes, not just classics. They offer features riders really want. It's why they're one of Australia's leading motorcycle insurance providers. Whatever you ride, whatever you ride, whatever you ride, ride with Shannon. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. And they are off. It was a good start from Dylan to Bono. I think Phil Vella got a great start there in the background as well. You can see already cars going five, six wide as they're trying to find any semblance of space. They're coming to T1. So far, we've got two, three wide as they snake down. There's a Michael Couch car that's got around Dylan to Bono with a couple of cars going wide there. Was that a bit of contact yeah. in the back? Scott Pocock caught up in that, I think, there, buddy. But it's Michael Cutterjar has got past, so Dylan. light is coming out and we're about to get going and we have gone green lights and a very slow start for the 86s but they are moving out there on the grid it would be very interesting to see exactly which driver can capitalize on this first lap just go through the grid look like Jamie Christensen had a really awesome start to get ahead of Dylan DeBono and Doug Gowage also jumped his teammate as well so unfortunately Dylan stalled the car a little bit more than what he preferred but Weekend in, weekend out, Motorsport Australia officials are making waves. From waving flags, waving cars through pit lane, or responding to a wave for help. Wave hello to new lifelong friends. Who knows, you might just make waves around the world. Ride the first wave. Search Motorsport Australia officials today great classes of car and if you are able to if you're coming up the ranks on iRacing through the licenses it's a fantastic sort of laneway into prototype driving going from that GT3 up through the prototype classes as the safety car pulls in and we get ready to go green as we come up towards the line. Edwards Hasler who's going to get the jump down to turn one or will any of the fishies any of the piranhas in behind them assault them down towards they're green and they're off. first lap let's go here We've always had a few cars. They're all special. The T-Bird. Oh, that's mine. The Combi for when we want to get away. The XR8. It's going to be a classic. They're all insured with Shannon's. We've also got Shannon's home and contents cover. Which helps protect our automotive collectibles, tools and memorabilia in the home and garage. If you're motoring enthusiasts like us, it's got to be. It's Shannon's. Shannon's. Insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. Amazing, I was clash heads again. This is like Chaz Mosk and Cam Waters. Almost the same situation. Better contact going down the hill. Sam Noble wants to slip on Dave Holman now. Sam Noble. Bottle right now because uh, 
tell you what, Bruce Tanner and uh, Jamie Dyson just absolutely drove away from us. Hayden, Hayden trying to go around the outside. This is where he could have just sent it up inside, but he hasn't prevented it, which is fair enough. It's pretty scary out there, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let's see if we get a good run. Dr. Dodds just absolutely think about it. It's just really nice move. Blake Delaney had the move out of the way. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're watching from, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Sim Racing World TV, and welcome back to the Warren and Brown Tools V8 Supercars Pro-Am Series here, brought, uh, brought to you here on Sim Racing World TV. It's round number eight, of course, penultimate round of the season. I'm joined here tonight by my regular co-commentator, Steve Singovich Sinka. A massive night of racing ahead. We already saw a little bit of a little bit of action on Tuesday night out of the AMs and the Pro-Ams, but with the pros out there alongside those Pro-Ams, could be a big night on for us here tonight. <laughs> Mate, that was an impeccable impression of a race card. You'll never yeah. hear one any better. But uh, yeah, obviously it was a big weekend of racing. Of course, the uh, the Formula One Grand Prix, uh, the I Racing Bathurst 12 hour, uh, not Bathurst 12 hour, Sebring 12 hour, um, as well. Plus also the, re the return of other leagues. Um, into the world of iRacing, meaning the startup of Vet Season 19, which I had the pleasure of calling action with Scotty Gamble last night out at Laguna Seca. So, yeah, it's a, it's a big time for not only iRacing, but for real racing as well. Um, and, you know, how's the fact that Max Verstappen crashing, you know, losing that break lap three, and all of a sudden he was out of proceedings. Well, I mean, and then even the Russell crash um, as well. And I've also just realized, Sinker, I had you on mute the whole time. So you were talking and no one could hear you. So I've just been dead pants oh, on. So I do apologize I for that it, one. Sorry, I was That was all my good stuff. I know. That was it. No, that my was, good stuff is gone for the night. I'm it's, done. It's, it's, <laughs> it's out of here. Uh, but no, I mean, that, that Verstappen break failure, obviously. And then also the, um, the Russell crash on the last lap. Uh, which I found out whilst I was watching it, uh, my stream was 10 minutes behind and my mate's like, oh, what the hell? That's a massive crash. I'm like, wait, what do you mean? And I'm watching Russell go around. I'm like, he hasn't crashed yet. And I'm like, oh, I'm like 10 minutes <laughs> off. My stream's been lagging. So I put it back up and I watched it back. I'm like, oh, that was big. Yeah. He was held by the two tethers of his left-hand side wheels mm. and held up on the side like that, which is quite quite an unusual position to be in. Too. Like, he was lucky he rolled onto his, onto his, uh, onto his head. But um, the halo would have, um, would have put out its little bit yeah. and, and saved him. Well, e even even when drivers previously used to roll over, the the air intake would used to save their head um, on a rollover. The halo is there pretty much for a front on impact if it's coming straight at their head. So, but one hundred percent, you know. But regardless, uh, we go racing here tonight in some tin tops, some closed enclosed racing out in the supercars. Of course, round number eight here out at Magni Core. Uh, it's going to be a massive end to this season, Sinker. We've only got two races left of round number eight, and then we move on to round number nine Ooh. next week. I, I feel like we're both hanging for this little three-week break, can't. barring the uh, barring the F1 rounds for, for Formula 3s. Oh, I can't believe it's gone that quick. It, it seriously feels like we only just started last week, and all this racing that's going on, it was like, geez, we've worked hard this season, mate. I'm telling you what. Oh, mate, we've been... <laughs> I reckon that's why my back was sore last week. It's just all the hard work I've been putting in. But <laughs> The amount of racing and commentating we've done, the amount of epic races we've had has been off the hook. It has been so much fun to watch and so much fun to see. Um, I, I, I can't believe it. It's just, um, yeah, it's I've loved every second of it. Penultimate round. Do we have the current round in the um, in the chat? We don't, Mr. Barber. No. Standings after round seven, Mr. Barber. Oh. He'll put something in the chat now. I know he will. He's probably been um, busy, to be phone. fair. So. Um... Yeah, oh, and he is flat out. All the boys have been flat out, and all the boys have been legends. And a big shout out to all the admins and all the um, well, I, RC, PC I, I team. Think, that the I think, I think, barring having the standing sinker, we know that it's Darren Lobb up the top at this point. We know that a win here tonight would cement him as the champion leading into the final round, pretty much. Um, even though Andrew Dyson is out there, 
Daiso is no longer P2 in the championship. It's really gone to Ty Delaney and, and others at this point in time. So it is looking more and more likely that it is going to be Lobby um, in P1 for this championship this season. Now, question... Does he get, because I'm not sure how it works in the supercars, does he get then the P the number one on his car next season? That's his choice, mate. Okay. That's his choice. Some drivers don't want it. Some drivers take that as a curse. Uh, Mr. Coleman, the year the season after he won it, I think three rounds in, he goes, get that number off me. Well, I, I, so I'll, was, tell you, um, I'll tell you what, I, I use the mindset of, I have the mindset of Max, what Max Verstappen had when he was asked if he would run number one. You may only ever get one chance in your lifetime to ever have that on your car. So why wouldn't you do it when yeah, you have that opportunity? This is true. This you know? is true. So as, as we have the um, ladder standings at the moment, Darren Lobb is sitting on 1,082 points. Gerard Safuentes, 941. Ty Delaney, 932. Troy Stone Street, 913. Harry Dodds, 866. How's that? I know. It is super, super... Well, I don't want to say super, super tight, but it is lobbies to lose at this point, isn't it? He's oh, actually, definitely, you, you definitely. Know, he's, he got... is, he's running away with this thing. He's got <sighs> one end on the... Well, we said last week he has two ends on the trophy um, after yeah. getting all the way back up onto the podium. He he ended his run of, finish, of winning a race every single round, of course, last time out as well. Um, yep. But that, and he's still been on the podium in every round. So it's been an exceptional run from lobby. Um, and I know that he'll be having a hankering for getting back to winning ways here tonight, and really, again, cementing himself in championship contention um, going into he's next done. season, of course, as well. The most consistent I've seen him drive, um, mm. and he's had some big, big names come up against him. Every couple of weeks, someone else steps up and has a crack at him. You know, what's, so, um, what's, what's one thing that I found quite interesting last night, Sinker, and it's about one of our, or two of our drivers that we have in SRW, one of them specifically in this session, because at least they're in here, we can actually talk about them. Stephen Kennedy. Did you know that both Stephen Kennedy and Darren Crosby are now in split two of vets and no longer in split one? Absolutely insane is, is to just me. Getting, it, it's, the vets is getting corrupt. No, it's um, a lot of the old guys are getting far, slower and older. <laughs> faster and older. Oh well, Yeah, well, that's it. Well, so. that, it's, I think we, 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 we need to start opening the door for the new generation, so... Um, let them come out and experience it and uh, have a bit of a kick. And, and that's what they're doing. I, I, you, oh, you've noticed that we've got a lot of new new drivers that come through. A lot of them are the younger boys coming through. And they realise that, um, you know, driving out there in the officials, apart from scops and vets and that, it can be quite hectic out there and uh, abusive. And, you know, you you pretty much get punted on a weekly basis. So what's the alternative? Find a league to race. You know, there's plenty of us out there. There's there's three or four leagues out there that, are, that run V8s. And, um, you know, pick what you like, pick, pick the, the level of intensity you like and go for it. Well, depending on your speed as well, you have got really five options, but some of them run, uh, you know, alongside each other throughout the week, don't they? So it's more, more or less you actually have maybe three or four, four options at most, I would say. You have yep. the option of either East Coast or the Our V8 Supercar Series on a Tuesday night. You have the choice. Uh, if you're fast enough, you could try and get into the Pro League on the Wednesday. If you're old enough, you can get into Vets on a Thursday. And if you're fast enough, you can get into Scops on the Sunday or race in the Pro-Am with us on the Sunday as well. So there's quite a few. And, and you know, but also yeah. on the fact of that as well, if you're slow enough, you can do Devs on a Tuesday too <laughs> um, <laughs> instead of Scops on the Sunday. So there's a, there's a heap of stuff out there. And, yeah. you know, we're all about trying to promote you know, other leagues as much as their own because more racing means more drivers get, you know, more competitive and they get more opportunities to drive the cars. Um, and the more spread that we have drivers, the better it is because it means that all the leagues benefiting from it and everyone gets to Look, go racing as well. And there's crossover there's thousands, between drivers and each league. Out there. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's thousands of us. So there's there's not as if we're going to take drivers from this series, that series is going to take drivers from us. You know what? It's If you've got two V8s going, two V8 leagues going on a on a Tuesday night. Well, you know what? So be it. it. There's fun to be had in both, and they both need to prosper, you know? And what it means is that the people in the V8 community come out and support everyone, you know? Don't just do the officials. Come out and support the leagues as well. You know, do the do your, do your the big stuff, do the fast stuff, do everything. Um, have some fun and, and enjoy all the leagues. Well, Because, I mean, you know, not, you know not what you got? 50 guys yeah, on one night? Yeah. And, there's that's nothing. And, and you know what as well? Some leagues don't run multiple splits as well. And I know yep. Vets runs multiple splits, but they're all run on the same night, only one of them's broadcasted. 
Yeah. But Tuesday, for example, East Coast only run one split. We currently only run one split as well. So if you don't make one, you can go race the other and this, there, or the other. Um, and if you're watching at home, you can always watch both of them at the same time. You get one up on a laptop, get one up on your phone or on a tablet, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, pick whichever one you want to have muted. We promise yeah. we will not get offended if we're the one that you want to have muted. Um, what, you hope what are you talking about? <laughs> of course I'll get offended. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, but that, that's the thing, you know, and even like Sunday, you know, it is really a super Sunday. You get the Pro-Am action on offer here. Then you also get scops yep. on, on offer every couple of weeks too. So there's so yeah. much out there for drivers to enjoy and for viewers to enjoy. It is. In it terms is. of supercars you know what? action. Our, our program for next season is going to accommodate so people can race scops and race and race our series. We don't want to have people, you know, have to have to make the choice, you know, come out and have fun. And that's what we want about it. We, we don't want to create a controversy of any way, shape or form. Get everyone a bit of limelight and a bit of support. The Fuentes is out there cracking the time at the moment. I know you're on board, with, on him board with him. Yep. Kirby. Kirby. Mr. Kirby, P1. 138.72. I know. So we're into the first six minutes of a 15-minute qualies, and we've just spoken to him about it now. Um, Andrew Dyson, 138 second. Doble in a 139.4, and Darren Lobb in the 139.4 as well. So um, maybe it won't be just as simple as it was last week. Maybe. Um, maybe he's not trying so hard this week either for, for Mr. Lobb. Maybe, maybe just like last week, he's taken a bit easy now. He knows he's got the gap, and he's just out there for some fun. Well, he just needs a, he needs a top five finish, really, doesn't well, he? That's it, yeah. Uh, we've got Brad Anderson in the chat as well saying, Evening, lads. Big day at Albert Park today watching the racing. Great to have you in here, Brad. Um, hopefully, we see you out there on Tuesday night. And hopefully, as well, if you've been watching back the broadcast, you've been taking in the, uh, the info we've been giving you and the advice we've been giving you as well, and hopefully you can uh, gain <laughs> some pace in whatever you're racing or gain some prowess and, too uh, and, and get better in future. Well done uh, on your fourth position in um, on Friday night, buddy. Um, and fourth, I, hope today was, uh, I hope today was as awesome as it looked on uh, on uh, TV today. I was switching between Channel 10, Foxtel, and KO. KO, by the way, had the best qualities of the stream. I, but, um, I, I did... I. I refuse to watch Channel Ten coverage now. Formula One, it is. Yeah, it, it is. It is. It is KO or nothing at this stage. Yeah, the, and um, even well, then, the see the host they had. Uh <laughs> yeah. Well, I know they had Grand Daniel. I think, I think man, you would have done a better job, mate. <laughs> Maybe I was at lunch, so I wasn't available for that one. Yeah. But, and um, yeah. First year I haven't been in ages too, so um, yeah, it's uh, it's it sucks, but you know what? It was it was it was still good to watch it. Sat back and doing the we uh. We had a few brewskis and uh, and off we went. Um, oh, so was that in, was that in the war room? And when you guys discussing maybe what needs to be done prior to next season as well? No, nah, I kept on trying to. And Dean's like, "Can't you try the race? Let me alone." That's what I'm. Yeah, me. I'm, I'm always I'm, got I'm a little be bit honest, of work there, in the back at, end. At a point in that race, there was really nothing to concentrate on. They were just cutting laps. Yeah, yeah. Like, they <laughs> were. The, 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 the gaps, gaps were that spread out. Second. It was just like, yeah. what's there? What's yeah. there to concentrate on? We're I was just sitting there watching win. how how um. How Dan was doing, he was, he was catching this guy, this guy was going slower, this one, rah, 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 and it was like, it was just tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Uh, Dave Kirby's still sitting on the best lap, he's just his last lap, he's still the 138.726. Andrew Dyson still sitting in second, Brad Doble third, Darren Love fourth, Harry Dodds is up to fifth, Anthony Visma, who had a really good drive last week, in sixth, Jared Safuentes, first of the AMs, sitting in seventh, tied to the lady, eighth, Troy Dooley, uh, the second am sitting in uh, ninth. Uh, Andrew Cowan sitting in tenth at the moment. So one, two, three. Well, oh, correct me if I'm wrong, but they all PSR boys. Uh, so for pro am, San Fuentes P1, Dooley P2, yeah, Cowan P3. So could they be on for another, uh, you know, top lockout. three lockout? You know, could they yeah, be on for yeah. it here tonight? I mean, they got Kennedy, who's. Uh, he was in here last week on the Sunday night. Back in here again. Uh, no Darren Crosby tonight, though. Unfortunately, he's just for pulled Kennedy. up his best time. Yeah, so he was oh, yeah. trying to get it a little bit better at this stage. Yep. Uh, a couple of the drivers out there as well. Ryan Jones into the session as well. So great to have Ryan back out there in the supercar. Uh, speaking to him on Friday night, of course, he's just been hoping to get back out on track as much as he can, of course. But good to see him out there. Um, I know he was, I believe he was at Albert Park this weekend as well for work. So good to see him in the rig. After oh, being at Albert Ryan Jones's um, livery, I know it's the um, same version as the Porsche it's, one. Yeah, I it's like the it. DPR car. So that's that's yeah, the yeah, regular yeah. DPR car. 
Um, yeah, we'll Di- Dyson and Lob run their their own versions, their own variants of yeah. the DPR car and the supercar. But yeah, this is the uh, the regular yeah. Simrigs DPR car. Um, good. Spoke about at length which Simrigs car I prefer, but uh, <laughs> it still looks really nice on track though, and, and you can't this deny corner, that it is nice. He just went past. I think is the going to be the corner that's going to do oh, people. 100%. And the aggression and that level one on that well. one, chicane. Yep. We already saw oh. Tuesday night as well, Singer, how many times that chicane caught people out and oh, spun yeah. them into the wall. Namely, this man yep. here, Mr. Cowan, uh, came oh. through the corner, clipped the inside curb, then hit the outside, got wheel spin and just put it into the wall. So very, yep. very easy to do around here. Brad saying, I'm watching as much co- video content as I can and I'm thinking I am improving each week. Well, the best thing you can do, Brad, is get the seat time. And again, yeah. the, honestly, the, well, part, mate, uh, honestly well. the best thing you can do as well, depending on what you want to do well in, is focus on what you want to do well in. So if you want to do well in the supercar, focus on the supercar. If you want to do well in sports car racing, then go back to basics, run in the GTs, go up through the LMP3, LMP2, and then into the GTP, because unfortunately... Oh, you're like a broken record, man. Well, 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 you know what? You know what? I'm like a broken record, but that's because that is the facts of it, Sinker. It's a Brad, next season, um, in the V8, you got Team SRW that you're part of now. Um, we're going to get you some coaching as well. Okay, mate? I've got someone picked out who's going to come out and give you some tips and hints. I was about to say, and, I hope um, it's not you, Sinker. <laughs> no, we're not doing spins. You're, the, you're, doing there, for the, spins, you're there for the burnout lessons, aren't you? I'm just there for the moral support. Look, <laughs> some some of us can teach and not not drive. Some of us can drive and teach. I can I can give some tips and on um on well, what, what's, mental what's pre- the, preparedness. Uh, what, what's the saying? The it's if you can't drive, you teach, and if you can't yeah. teach, well, then you spot. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> well, look at me as my team spotter. You know what is that saying Watch about you, uh, me? Andrew Dyson. Oh, what a you know, run across the that line. Chicane, then. That's the highest I've seen the car pivot. Yeah. I reckon, I'm tipping that's about 30 degrees um, elevation at that point. If he had one of those little heads that's sitting on his dashboard, it would have fallen off its, off its shoulders by now. Inside the suspension cam of the 041 DPR Mustang. This will be a camera angle we'll be able to come into throughout the evening just to kind of check out how the suspension handles this circuit and how it handles the curbs around here and any other elevation changes. Brad Doble pulling off at the side of the road. As it currently stands with three and a half, with two and a half minutes left in the session is David Kirby in P1 still after setting the fastest lap of the session very early on. It's then Andrew Dyson in P2 for DPR with his DPR teammate Darren Lobb currently P3. Brad Doble P4 at the moment. Harry Dodds makes up the top five and moved down into the likes of Anthony Visma, as we mentioned, had a fantastic run Last time out, he's currently P6 on the road, P6 in the pros, and number six on his car. So, you know, the, maybe this is meant to be for him here tonight. Uh, David Coleman as well, back out on circuit. Um, you know, he, he P7 at, the, at this stage, doing pretty well. Sim Kennedy, P8. Gerard Sanfuentes in P9 at the moment. P2 now in the pro-ams. He's actually been pipped by Kennedy. And then Ty Delaney, the young guppy, making up the top 10 in qualifying. So we'll see how these guys can go on their final qualifying runs here tonight. Still a few boys that are entering the, the server as, as they come. There's obviously people that are probably just coming back from uh, being at Melbourne or get, being out at a friend's place watching the racing today. Uh, Chris uh, Barrage is just locked in. Kyle Ziggs in there. He dropped in back out. Oh, he's dropped out again. Um, so Schultz is in there, but I think Schultz is spotting for one of his boys tonight. Um, so look, it's going to be some awesome racing. Make sure you let us know who on any costs you want. Um, let us know. We'll see what we can dig up or make up. So on board now with Ryan Jones, just struggling to get up to pace here tonight in qualifying. We know that he's, he doesn't consistently get into the car. Um, so that sometimes can lead to a little bit of a struggle as Ty Delaney crosses the line to go P4 in nice. the session. So the young guppy gets up there, ruins our little our little murmurs of Visma getting into P6 and qualifying, but he's still out on what track, so he could do track? it. That's cannibal. Well, so Delaney's time will... Oh, hang on. is it? It's a sprint race tonight, isn't it? Yep. So Delaney's is not countable because he started before the 15 minutes ended, but the timer will end at 15. Dyson now will not have a... Countable lap here on the last one. Stone Street could get it done reasonably. Uh, Visma, not quite close enough. Coleman, I think, is close enough. He is indeed. So he'll be able to finish this lap. 
And then Ryan Jones about to cross the line as well. Is it going to be good enough to get a time on the board or will he be starting from the back of the grid? He will be starting at the back of the grid here tonight. Stone Street just trying to get to the end of his time. Coleman's pulled out of the lap. So at the moment, all the drivers are trying to make their way through, but the 15 minutes is up. And we are going to get ready to go racing for race number one here tonight out at Circuit de Neville Magni Corps. Starting grid for tonight's race, ladies and gentlemen. The four, the first one here would be David Kirby out of P1 for Fishy Motorsports. Set the time very, very early. In fact, it was his first fast time that was got him on pole. No one else could beat him in the end. It was Andrew Dyson out of P2 here in qualifying. He'll start P2 on the road ahead of Darren Lobb and Ty Delaney on the second row of the grid. It's a Fishy and DPR front two rows here tonight. Troy Stone Street then starts out of P5 for WK and P Simsports ahead of Brad Doble out of P6 with Harry Dodds and Anthony Visma making up the fourth row of the grid. Then have David Coleman and Stephen Kennedy making up the top 10. Kennedy sits in P1 for the Pro-Ams here tonight on the road. Gerard Sanfuentes and Troy Dooley will come in P11 and P12, P2 and 3 for the Pro-Ams in behind. We then move down to Andrew Cowan out of P13, Travis Daly out of P14. Will Buchanan will make up the top 15 with Luke Crum, Chris Tomlin, Kyle Zink, and Ryan Jones making up the rest of the order. Greg Barber and Tom Freeman, our race controllers here tonight. So a big thank you to them for being out there with us and uh, helping control this field and keep them in order, keep them in check and be the referees that we need to decipher what moves are improper and what moves are just the matter of racing. Also, while you're out there, mate, um, Leaky, uh, come back, buddy, whenever you're feeling better. Um, I'm right. having a bit of a rough one at the moment. Yep. Um, thinking of you, buddy. Yep, and uh, thoughts go out to Mr. Leak. Um, hopefully he can uh, get better and join us once again in uh, in Season 2 of 2024. Always thinking about him, of course, and uh, and hopefully, again, we can uh, we can see him back, on, back out on track with us for next season as well. So we will wait for the rest of the grid to get out on track, though. Sinker, it was a wild start to both the races on Tuesday night. We'll see if they are a little bit... Um, a little bit more settled here through turn one, we'll say, to be nice. To see if they're a little bit more settled <laughs> and, and a little bit more with it as well as they come through turn one for the first time. Uh, but only time will tell. So Darren Lobb, Kyle Zink and Tyler Laney get to grid up. Everyone else is on the starting line. So we'll see who's going to get the advantage as the young guppy hops into his little grid spot there in P4. Field goes way back, doesn't it? Look at oh, that. so far back. So, so far back. And, I mean, and, and look at that car there for Mr. Kirby. Uh, a nice new livery on it. Some new colours for him this season. It's really, it's just, it's a nice different look for him. 30 seconds from race control, so we will go racing fairly shortly. Of course, the Fishy and the DPR alongside each other. Lobby's now out on the grid. We're just awaiting Kyle Zink here for the final 10 seconds of greening up time. Otherwise, he may not make the start. We know that he was having some connection issues. He was out there in practice, but hopefully he can go racing here with us tonight for round number eight of season number one. We'll await the lights to go up, the revs to rise to go racing here. Lights are up. Let's go racing out at Serga de Neville, Magni Corps. Round out of 2024, Pomultimate round time. Who's going to get the jump through turn one? And who's going to get the clean start they need? It's a box start from Dyson off the start. Delaney's going to get a massive run as well as lob up into P2 as well as they come through one for the first time. They all spread out around. This car's going wide already off the exit. Need to be careful to rejoin. That's Harry Dodds off the left. Seems to be nice and clean though as they come up into the first straight of the lap. It's been a nice little clean run from them so far. Sinker, really, really good to see. Yeah, Kirby's got a great start off the line straight away off there. Dyson lost himself two places, but uh, Darren Lobb and Ty Delaney straight away got in there. But Lobby is already putting pressure on. He's going to get tagged. Not quite getting tagged. Dyson just pulled out. But the little guppy has got him on the inside and under. The boys are going three wide down the back there, but still keeping it clean. As they make their way underneath the bridge, they look pretty good. Visma already going for a move down towards the next corner. So they oh, make their way through. Well. Look at this, Kirby and Lobb, they're already starting to break away here from Delaney out of P3. As they just try and tidy themselves up here for the first 20 minute running of tonight's event. 20 minutes and then a 40 minute run for the second race, of course, around Magni Core. So it'll be a nice challenge here for the drivers as they circulate their way up Do through wide. that chicane. Who oh, was that? Is that Stone Street? 
I believe that might have been Stone Street with Kennedy yep. on his inside as they make their way up to the back straight now for the first Lob's time. Lob's already looking. Lobby's already looking where he's going to start making his lunge, where he's going to go. Oh, it looks like Crummy's gone out for Is that Crummy or Lob? That was no, uh, Chris Tomlin. Tomlin. That was yep. a shot running a bit wide there at the top of the hill. That was another corner that we need to be careful of. But oh, Did you see the impact oh, of Lobby coming through that shit game that then? That was huge. So they crossed the line for the first time. Best laps coming up on your timing tower now. And then our intervals as well. So 1 minute 40 was the first lap there for Kirby. So he's already flying here. As Philip Dalton into the chat. Hello to you, sir, as well. Thanks for being here with us here tonight and supporting the Warren and Brown Tools V8 Supercars Prime. It's David Kirby, P1 on the road. Back to lobby P2. Kyle Zink has not made the start here tonight, unfortunately for him. So we've got 18 running at this stage. So come down to turn four. Yeah, he's dropped out of packet loss early, so he must be having internet issues. But have a look at this. The boys are already trying to take the inside line there a bit. That's... Uh, that was David Coleman. Da oh, I couldn't see who that was, to be honest. Uh, Travis Daly and uh, Mr. Crumb going too wide. But the boys, are, as usual, it's uh, it's hell for leather for every little gap that goes. If someone makes the slightest mistake, the slightest wrong entry, the slightest missed in breaking point, these boys are on drums like like jam on toast. Too wide there with Dodzy on the inside. Oh, taking it nice and cool. Daly's got him on the inside a bit more over the lap, but Dodgy hasn't given up the corner just yet. He'll go a bit late on the brakes to try to get re-control. No, over, under. No. Daly has done the move, and Dodsey is now in 15th place. The timing tower, Hamish, is still all yellow and orange all the way yep, through. Yep, there is nothing in it at the moment. Incident involving car 981, lap one, turn one. No further action. Now, Sinka, a very important question for you. What kind of jam do you reckon these cars are if they're getting put on toast at this stage? <laughs> Mate, can only be strawberry. Oh. Strawberry. As if it's not mixed strawberry. berries. Mixed berries so, is so superior. Be <laughs> and, the, and the pit bits of the strawberry are the holders. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Stone Street's now moved up into P4 over Andrew Dyson, but he's got all sorts of pressure on him off the back. Here are the 041 Mustang here in behind the WKMP Super Cheap Auto entry of Troy Stone Street on board with him now. As we come down the straight, we'll see if Dyson wants to go for a lunge or not. Whether he's ready to go diving, yep. he is. It's a massive lunge. Under brakes, he's got it. He's done it nicely. Yep. Done Stone, it very nicely. Stone Street gave him heaps of room there. Oh, really, really Kennedy. good to see. That was Kennedy in the background. He wanted it. Yep. And he's got it over Visma. So, great little move there from the M1 driver. Visma a bit of pace tonight. He was one of our lead cars last yeah. week. Yeah. He's down two spots already. So, hopefully last week wasn't a one-week mm. wonder. Hopefully tonight he can get back up to pace. We mentioned he struggled in the past. Uh, but really getting back up to pace last week. So hopefully he can get back up to that sort of running once again here tonight, if not into next season as well. But he's got uh, Dooley all over the back of him at the moment, who sits P3 uh, in the Pro-Am class at the moment. Kennedy is ruining PSR's hopes here of getting a 1-2-3 once again in the Pro-Ams. Um, I, know, I know Mr. McAvoy is not going to be in there with them here tonight. Um, so that must mean they have even more pressure because otherwise they're going to have to answer to him when he comes back. Um, isn't Macca isn't is Macca the full full width of going this, 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 this tonight? Not not that or, one. Or is it? I'm, yeah, no, I'm not going to guttural scream on stream because that will lose us subscribers. I promise you. Um, All right, so I'm not going to mention car six four zero because I seem to curse him every time I, I want him to do well. So I'm not going to mention him tonight, and I'll leave that up to you. Even, even though I, even though you mentioned his his car number, and that might be enough right, for him to make a, make a mistake. But yeah. We'll have to wait and see how he does here. Of course, I mean the week the week that he had the <laughs> the week that he had the joke on the side of his car about the flask, he actually did pretty well. So maybe he should put that back yeah. on there. But um, yeah, maybe, who knows? maybe, yeah. maybe. And when he gets it, take a photo of it, put it on the car. Oh, oh, oh yes, on the roof. <laughs> the absolutely spectacular. So come down towards ten oh, four dear, once mate. again. Up in our Ooh, groom Crummy industry, the back at the Cowan. moment. Yeah, we can see Crummy him there. The oh, look at that. Go through there goes Daly up wide. the inside. Crummy oh, big wheel spin. And again, it comes down to the maximizing the exits. He was offline a little yeah. bit in the marbles, and that just caused him to lose the traction. And suddenly he's lost two places to both Daly yeah, and he was, Dodsey. He was one one tenth behind Cowan at the beginning of that corner under brakes and completely lost two places under the movement there. The rear end trying to get too much jangle down too early. And he's getting a lot of pressure on... Um, 
by Buchanan as well now. So I don't know, maybe he's gone too hard too early. Possibly might be smart just to back it off a little bit here, cool the tyres back down, and then have another crack in a couple of laps' time. You know, just yeah, kind of sitting behind really... him and just taking it a bit easy. Oh, oh but again, he's gone again, for it in the background, though. Dodds was too close to, to, um, to Daly then. It looks like it cost him a bit of time. And it's given Clum the run in on him. So Crummy now at the Crummy's inside go of Dodsey. Oh, Dodsey needs to be careful. This is going to be a phenomenal move. Oh, yeah, that is That's spectacular. Right. He's, he's done the right thing, Dodsey. He could have tried to force the angle, but you know what? Live to fight another day. Well, we saw someone force it on Tuesday night, and it just ended in tears. So Dodsey, smart play there. Backs out of him. He knows he'll have another crack at him. It's early in the affairs. You know, why why fight it seven minutes into a 20-minute race, you know? Yeah, 100%. And, and, and seven 100%. minutes into a night where you've got an hour's worth of racing, you know, total. Mate, we've been flapping our gums. We missed the lobby take the lead on um, on Kirby. Well, uh, we'll, and, get, we'll um, get the replay back up here just to check it out. I also fixed the replay transition for this one, if you hadn't noticed. Oh, I haven't seen in. it yet. Oh, I just, missed <clears> it. I just showed it then. But he got him up the inside, up at four. Beautiful little move. Kirby offline into the marbles. Lobby just slotted it up and put it into P1. So he could be on here for another victory this season. Yeah. He's a damn smooth driver, Lobby. Very smooth driver. Very would, you, smooth. would you dare He's call um, him a smooth operator after today's winner? Smooth operator. Oh, don't, it'll get us a flag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Luke Crum is again back on Dodsey. Oh, that was a bit of a dive in by Dyson. Has he got the move over, over um, the little guppy? He has. That's a great little move from him. So it goes from two yeah. fishies on the top three to two DPR cars in the top three all of a sudden. So Ooh. it's good to see. The battle is a coming our way as uh, Delaney's all over the back of him now. Stone Street wants to try and get up there too. I reckon season two could be the breakout moment for the Super Cheap Auto driver from WKMP Sim Sports. Only time will tell. Uh, biggest mover of this race so far is, uh, well, technically it is actually Gerard Sanfuentes. He's up three spots on the road. Ryan Jones is reading his plus four spots, but that's because he's gotten one over Chris Tomlin on track, one over Kyle Zink, who has not started the race, and then two spots over both the safe uh, spot over both the safety cars because, well, he was gridded up behind them because he didn't set a lap time. So, um, but he's currently up one spot over Tomlin at this stage. P17, just trying to get back to grips with this car and try and get back up to pace. And onto the back of Luke Crum, who's now lost a position out to Will Buchanan at the back of the field. Visma, though, in an intense Kennedy battle here with Kennedy mm. as they come into four. Nice little move up the inside. Kennedy wants the switch back, though. Not quite fast enough off the run back into the straight. Ooh, that too wide here as well. Oh, there's a bit of a bit of a nose clipping there. That's Sam Fuentes just there ahead of Coleman. As they come into the long, sweeping left hand. A very difficult corner to line up properly and, and just maximise the run. We've seen many a driver spin it through that corner, but it's good to see these guys are well adversed in uh, making sure they can keep their cars on the straight and narrow through there. Yeah, the, it, again, look at the different lines. One takes a nice cut. The inside one goes wider and maintains the, the overall pace, but then it all changes again for the third corner coming to this corner. And under brakes here, will Coleman have a, have a bit of a sniff? Let him know that he's there. Nah, Just he's, preparing he's, for a pass not, later he's on. He's not quite close enough on San Fuentes. No. But oh, but he oh, turned no. it in too early. And that was the car spun around. I was about to say, he lined it up nice and early, got a little bit out of shape, but tried to catch it. And then all of a sudden, it was spun around for him here. Let's just quickly get this back up just to see what I'm what I'm kind of talking about. So if we go on board with him here, you'll be able to see, if we go full pace down towards the corner, you'll be able to see he just turns it in there and has to catch it as he comes into the corner. And you see he's already trying to catch the slide, so he already had the compression lock going, and then it was all over Red Rover for him as he came through the corner, spun it round. It was a beautiful drift from him, actually. Real initial D-like, and great to not catch anybody out off the back of that moment as well. Did really well getting out of the way early. Um, and you know what? It was the first time I mentioned his name. <laughs> and they, they see what happens. Oh, sorry, oh, Colin, you mentioned it before. Again, you've mentioned it before as well. But now he's just trying to get the grip back in the tyres, get the heat out of them as well. Just trying to get back up the pace. But currently leading okay. the way, yep. Darren Lobb. <clears throat> he needs to be aiming for um, position ten and nine. 
to yep. get himself at the front of the grid for the uh, second heat. Well, that's, that's your job, Tom. All right? That's if you can get thing. up there from P17. Ray Douglas, uh, the Mustang, like the SBR livery and the blue MSR Mustang. Yeah, they all look. They, they both look good. SBR livery from the MSR car. I think he means the the um, the MSR is the blue one. Yeah. And I think he's talking about the white one I was talking about before, the DFR. Ah, oh, DFR, got ya. <clears throat> yeah. Or possibly that one as well, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Can we see that? Um, S is right beside the D on the keyboard. Oh, oh yeah, that, that's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, he probably means DPR, which yes. is Andrew Dyson's one, which is this one here. Um, so, yeah, not DBR, DPR, yeah. uh, Ray. Just for, just for clarity, but it is a DPR one to the moment, with lobby leading He's Dyson. all over the back of his teammate Kirby at the moment. Have a look at this. The sunset against the blue. And he's going to have a crack on the inside by the look of it. Bit of fire and ice here from the fishies. Delaney just on the inside. He's not that. Uh, and you know what? He probably knows that Delaney has a much... I mean, Delaney was P2 in the championship. So why would you not let him have that? Get some extra points. And then, you know, you start in front of him anyway in the next race. So why not? Yeah. Get in there behind him and go, right, tight. Your job to be done, mate. Just push him along a little bit, I think. You know, try, try and get up on the back of Dyson and, and bring the battle to him at the moment. Um, we got Stone Street still P5 at this stage. Doble trying to make his way back up through the field. He started P6. He's currently P6. So he's just trying to get up further and gain some important points in this championship run. San Fuentes, what a season it's been for him, Sinker. I think a, a winning class here tonight stand out. would... Stand uh, out. Oh, stand it's out. been it's phenomenal. If we if we still had a, if we um, still had a driver of the day award, I think, or a driver of yeah, the season award, he'd have to get it, like for sure. Well, most improved as well. Oh, um, but we, we we can't go past the livery of um, Brad Doble, uh, supporting uh, breast cancer awareness. Um, he's he he has that going every um, every week. Going, he's also, he's changed it up to he's supporting something else in there. What is it? Is it autism? Uh, it might be. I'm not 100% sure. I can't really read it on properly, spectrum, unfortunately. Yeah, he's supporting um, autism at the yeah. moment as well. So Unfortunately, on, be, it's a great cause, but unfortunately, because of the colour choice on the base, it's very hard to read those sponsors. Um, <laughs> but it is a great it is a great cause, though, nonetheless. It is a great cause, mate, and um, we, we support a lot of different things out there. And uh, good to see, mate. Uh, give give uh, Autism Australia a shout-out. Um, who else has he got on well, there? Well, as a man with uh, autism himself, I can appreciate his message that he's trying to yeah, spread. Yeah, Autism so. Spectrum Australia... Um, yeah, so good on him. Good on him. He had um, the last time he had uh, breast cancer awareness in the first part of the season. And um, Laura, it's my pleasure to to help out. Um, the boys are part of my team now, so I'll be continuing to help them out. Uh, but they've got a good good leader out there with um, with um, Jay, um, with Mr. Davis. Uh, he'll he's uh, he's a good guy, but we'll probably give him some more help as well. Ray Douglas, the old Stone Brothers racing Ford colour back in the early 2000s, boys. I think he's ah, just thinking that okay. it looks like the Pertec car a little bit, but it's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not yep. the exact same, but um, it, it's almost it. It kind of remind at first glance, it does remind me of James Courtney's first SBR car, the Geldwin car, uh, yep. a little bit. Uh, Chris Tomlin has had an incident towards the back of the field here. He's all on his lonesome down towards turn four. I reckon he's just run it wide here and spun it round, possibly. That's how it feels, chop. I know how it feels, yeah. mate. Just head down, just cut the laps and uh, enjoy it. But that's a good way of getting some screen time sliding out as we're talking about you. Yeah? Hey, that's it. Uh, that's the one thing I say to people who complain about not oh, having enough screen time. That? Rear end of Dodzy as you had just had him in the back end as he was coming on the brake, skipped out on him. He's just caught it as he's trying to hunt down uh, Troy Daly. Travis Daly. Travis Daly. I, I, know, I, know, Troy and Tr I know Troy and Travis have got very similar sounding last names, Dooley and Daly. Um, and yeah. I understand how easy it is to mix those up. But yeah, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Travis Daly ahead of him. Yeah, it's one thing I always say to people who complain about not getting enough time on screen. I say, well, you either get better and run up the front or you have an incident. That's how you're going to get or, on screen more often or not. Or, or get into you a get battle. Your family and friends to watch yep. and support you and cheer you on, mate. Exactly, exactly. That's, if they cheer you on in the, they they see, on the chat. It in the screen, yeah. And we, we mention it. Exactly. Yeah. So that's the way to do it. Yeah. Um, there's a fair bit of pressure going on here by Dyson. He was he was about four tenths coming through uh, about half a lap ago, but now he's uh, 
He's got himself back to five tenths, but Lobby is just, uh, oh, man, he's just taking the piss. He's in cruise control. He really he's, is. His, his best lap is a 139.322. Um, actually, Dyson's best lap is a 139.377. So 55 one hundredths behind, so it's not that bad. Last lap, uh, 141.450, and Dyson a 141.571. Um, Ty Delaney is lapping a full second faster than these boys at the moment. You can see him here. He's just trying to chase down both the DPR cars up at P1 and 2. Although it is going to be a hard ask for him to get past both of them. It'll be three minutes in about 10 seconds time until checkered flag flies here for race number I was, one. I was just about to say, let's not miss the, um, the final lap this We're time. We're not going to miss the final lap this time, don't worry. <laughs> we got good. so excited on, last, uh, on Tuesday night that we missed the first heat's uh, final lap because we were sitting there chin wagging and and enjoying the uh, the intense battles the boys were giving us. Mate, at this point in time, it's just like a nice Sunday roast. As you see, Dyson wants it up the inside. A lobby here into four. Nice little inter-team battle happening, but it is now dragging the young guppy back into the affair two in behind. So it could be a beautiful little three-way dance between these boys here towards the end of this race with, uh, with two and a half minutes on the clock. Really got to watch your word selection. Um... What do you mean? <laughs> Triple threat action. Triple threat is fine. The, the triple threat is fine, yeah. Um, but looks like Lobby wants that spot back, man. He doesn't want to give that up uh, anytime soon. It's uh, it's more about bragging rights, isn't it? Yeah, that's it, mate. It is full bragging rights at this stage. I mean, Lobby, all he has to do is just beat Ty um, in, in these races, and he'll lock out that championship run. Daiso's out there for fun. He's missed a couple of rounds. Oh, though, but that's going to ruin his run through the corner, and Lobby's going to take advantage down the back straight towards the final couple of corners here. It's a beautiful little battle that we got going. I tell you what, DPR really oh, know how to put on a show for us here. Oh, the racing is on, mate. There is oh. no team orders. The racing is on over under. Look at Robbie oh, no. going through that and, corner. And Ty has been caught oh, out, but he wasn't he's prepared. for that, 100%. Oh, 100%. Hopping the curbs. <laughs> <laughs> mate, you think, mate, that Mustang must be an equestrian car because he's hopping on, curbs like they're gates. What was that, Skip? Yeah. The, the yeah, that was lob. <laughs> oh. But a bit of equestrian oh, action here from DPR through the chicane. Delaney ran it wide through the second to last corner, but from that little curb hop there, the, the real, well, not little, the curb strike. Run it wide too, just watching those two attack yeah, that that's curb. What, that's what it was. Scary. He was caught, he was caught adrift on it. It is final lap <laughs> action though here out at Mainly Core for race number one. Ty Delaney hoping to chase down the two DPR boys up in one, a P1 and 2 as they come on through here for the final time before race number two here tonight. So it's been a great run so far. Big thank you to our series sponsors, of course, Warren and Brown Tools. They are the naming rights sponsor for this series as well as Shannon's Insurance, Motorsport Australia, DSL Rail Services, Neuro Power, Shunt Scenery, Grim Industries uh, as well, and Motorsport Australia too for supporting our uh, newest series, the Monday Night Formula V Nationals as well, as well as the Toyota G86s uh, yeah. on Thursday night. So it's great to see. But Lobby leads them through the roller coaster for oh, the look final how close time. Look at that. Driving. Oh, phenomenal. A great racing respect as well. Just a heap of room given. And it's really, really good to see. This is just oh, something. Ty's got himself stuck in. He's got oh, himself stuck this. in. Is he going to be able to cut him through? He has just snuck He's up got here. the position. Oh, what a silent oh, assassin is the young guppy. What a run! I think these DPR boys are having a bit of fun, and then um, Ty's just taking advantage of him yeah, in the last few corners. Yeah, he's crashed into the playhouse, but Lobby's oh, going to come oh, around oh. the final corner. He's going to take home oh, P well, number one. Oh, oh, he's pulled oh, it up. He's going to slow down. Oh, he, tr oh, he tried to give it to Delaney. I reckon he copped a slowdown, and that might actually give Delaney the win. If it he's has. copped the slowdown, that might no, actually no, give him no, the win. No. 0.170. Yeah, but if he has a, if he has a slowdown. Right, and it hasn't yep. committed to before he's actually crossed the line. That'll get added to his race time. So oh, Delaney yes, could yes, actually be the winner yes, at this point. We don't know exactly. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. We'll how have it to reads. find out if Lobby had a slowdown or yeah. whether he was just playing. Because that was like point seven zero to point one eight nine. Can you get a slowdown of them crossing the finish line? I can indeed. I can indeed. So they came down here well, towards the final the couple of corners. <laughs> I, I know we did, but this was... And you, you, know what I, you know what I find as well, Sinker? When you're racing with your mates, sometimes you've got the absolute best racing you can ever have when you guys are just mucking around and having a bit of fun.
Yeah. Have a look well, at this. The, uh, Lobby, a, Lobby gave him a heap of space. He tried to give it up to him, but he already crossed the line. He just pulled it up. Oh, he just pulled up. That was so close. Did you see Dyson coming through that through the chicane, going yeah. sideways? So, in our um, well, who who's our um, who's our Ams winners? Uh, um, it was Stefuentes, Dooley, and uh, Cowan. So, if we look here, uh, these were our pro results for the. First race here tonight, it was Lobby out of P1 to Delaney to Dyson. Then Kirby, Stone Street, Doble, Visma, Dodds, Buchanan, uh, Jones, and Coleman in the end. And then for the Pro-Ams, this was how they rounded out. It was San Fuentes to Kennedy to Dooley to Cowan to Daly to Crum to Tomlin. Zinc never got started. So San Fuentes continues his run uh, on the way home to this championship win. But it's warm-up action now. So this is our time for a little... A little five-minute break, ladies and gentlemen, to kind of, you know, get get back with it. Go get a drink. Go get a little bite to eat if you want to as well and get ready for the 40 minutes of action here to come. But just quickly yeah. before we go to our break, Sinker, what a go, wild go. end to that you can, race. You can, you can go get your drink, man. I'll keep talking some crap here. Oh, very good. Um, so the RC is having a discussion. Uh, 99. Oh, so car 99 had to redress. Darren Lobb needed to address something. So he's getting a points penalty instead of the redress because he couldn't make the redress. So it was a slowdown as he was coming across and he got the penalty because he served the slowdown on the race line. So that's going to cost him the win for tonight's first round, first heat. But not not a great deal of impact to him uh, as far as title hopes are concerned because his points are pretty crazy up the front over there. Um, Mr. Anderson, how is your livery coming along, Steve-O? Um, it's, it's, you'll get a uh, livery uh, um, tomorrow night, mate. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night's a big night. Yes, Mr. Barber. Yeah, g'day, guys. Just wanted to um, jump in and explain that uh, Car 99 penalty. So drivers that receive a slowdown penalty from iRacing are required to serve that slowdown off the racing line and not impede other drivers as they do so. Yep. And uh, we judge that car 99 had held up the other two cars whilst serving that black flag, that uh, that slowdown black flag. Was that in so, the um, last court, last chicane? Uh, no, no, no. It was earlier on the last lap, in the middle of the lap. Oh, when he bunny um, hopped it. In the fast, in the fast right, left chicane in the yes, middle of the yes, track. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. Um, and he then uh, served that slow down through the next few corners right in front of the other guys. So we actually asked him to redress that, but um, actually works out that he didn't because now he uh, he starts behind those guys on the grid for next race. Okay, so cool. we're happy that that's enough of a penalty. He's behind him yeah. for the next race, and he's got yeah. a ten point penalty. Yeah. One one of the awesome. things one of the things I was going to say was because there was actually a race in Vets last season where this happened. My dad was in P10, copped a sled in on the last corner at Charlotte. And didn't finish it before the line, and then he got put. And then he got a penalty from my racing for it. So I thought that yeah. might have been the reasoning as well. So, yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it was actually yeah. much earlier. It was actually he was slowing down at the last chicane because yeah. we'd asked him to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and as it turns out, he crossed the line before the other two guys, but it actually works out okay because he will start behind those guys for yeah. race two. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Well, mate. Thanks, Thank Lucky. <laughs> no worries, mate. <laughs> have, a good Cheers, Greg. have a good night in the uh, have a good night and I'm listening to you guys uh with one ear while I listen to the other ear to um to Mr. Hamish over here. All right, mate, have fun in there. Good night. All right, so that goes I was uh, I was right but I was pick I picked the wrong corner. Um Yeah, it was it was it, earlier um, in the lap in fact, earlier on in which lap, I yeah, I, so. I think as well. Um, yeah. If he had copped the slowdown at the last corner, he still would have lost the, the win anyway. But yeah, in fact, it was earlier in the lap anyway. So uh, it just, yeah, just happened. Yeah. He just balked them. And just, although even though they were racing and having a bit of fun, um, you still got to stick to the rules at the end of the day and you can't go around making a mistake like that. Unfortunately for Miss Lobb, it's not going to hurt his championship, as you mentioned, Sinker. I kind of heard the back end of it when I'd come back. Yeah, not at all, mate. Um, not at all. So, he's, um, he's sitting very pretty at the moment. So. Yeah. Um, Mr. Lobb is sitting at 1,082. Uh, Gerasa Fuentes is a 941. Ty Delaney, 932. So it's not going to cost him much at all. Ty would have jumped a few places there, but, you know, the likelihood of him making, uh, what's that, 82 and uh, 68, that's 140, 
150 points. Can you imagine if <laughs> Sam Fuentes yeah. wins the Pro Am but also finishes in the top three of the championship? Yeah. Like, it's uh, amazing. Apart, isn't it? apart, from, apart from Darren, right? Darren, yeah. obviously, absolute alien. Hardly anyone's going to step up to him this season. But I don't think you can argue that Gerard San Fuentes, outside of Darren Lobb, has been driver of the season. Like, he, like, is, he is most improved driver 100%. Oh, I mean, not, 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 even, not even just most improved, just yeah. best driver out on track week in and week out. Yeah. But regardless, though, yeah. we'll, get to our race, we'll get to our grid start here for tonight's second race. 40 minutes of action to come for you. As we can see here, they will start how they finished out of race number one, except we have got a reverse top 10 situation going on. It'll be Troy Dooley out of P1 with Stephen Kennedy out of P2 with Anthony Visma starting out of P3 alongside Gerard Sanfuentes out of P4 on the road. Brad Doe will then start at a P6, uh, P5 ahead of Troy Stone Street out of P6 with David Kirby out of P7 for Fishy Motorsports ahead of Andrew Dyson out of P8 here tonight for DPR. Ty Delaney will then start at a P9. Now, just to confirm, is Darren Lobb starting at a P10 or has he been given a grid penalty? No, he's got a points penalty, so he'll be starting where he is. Okay, so he'll be starting at a P10. Everyone else will be starting however they finished. They'll be including Andrew Cowan at a P11. Travis Daly out of P12 in behind. Harry Dodds at a P13. Will be counted at a P14 with Luke Crum and Ryan Jones lining up in behind. Chris Tomlin and David Kirby, uh, David Coleman, sorry, We'll line up in behind them as well. Kyle Zink didn't get started in race one. We'll see if he's back in the session and ready to go here for race two. But if he's yeah. not, the, um, we'll, uh, we'll have a crack. The top ten order uh, for reverse grid can't be altered by the uh, RC. Okay. It is predetermined uh, 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 by, uh, uh, by unless, RC. Um, unless he had a pit lane start where he would have Correct. to start from the lane. Yep. Correct. Correct. A minute 29 to go. And the boys are all warming up. Troy Drooley sitting in his... Uh, not quite papaya, more burnt orange. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. That's 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 like a, I call it a KDM a, orange as a motor as a, as a, a dirt bike rider. So more a terracotta. Yeah, and, uh, terracotta. Stephen Kennedy, <laughs> yeah. Well, Stephen Kennedy uh, sitting there in his uh, in his in nice his, gold in, in his in his yeah. Richmond colours and his black and yellow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alongside, but. Uh, we got we got jackals in the chat. Here we in go. There as Here we go. Saying, let's Here we go. go Crumdog Millionaire. Bing, 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 bing. Green lights. Let's see how they go. Dyson and Lob. They'll start from the lane. As we go racing here for race number two here tonight, there was a little bit of a box start oh, in the background there. The back. That was Daly. Travis Daly. Big stall off the line out the back. Let's see how they go through turn number one. They look nice and tidy. No one running Here's wide so far. Holy flying! That was a fantastic start from the performance sim racing driver. Seven tenths within one corner. That is crazy takeoff. Oh, the rest of the phenomenal. boys are just starting to fold in as they go. A few boys sticking their noses out. Looks like Ty's having a bit of sniff. Troy Stone Street's beside him going too wide. They are taking order. No, still going too wide. Will Ty give or yield? Cowie's on the inside of Dodzy. Crummy has got his teammate behind him, and there's Coleman trying to squeeze his way through. Three wide into that little bit. Oh, I thought there was going to be a crunch then. So you see Dyson and Lobb both started from the lane, so they both decided they're going to challenge themselves here and go from last up towards the front as they make their way through. Big wide run, though, from Dooley. That's going to lose him the lead out to Kennedy and Visma. So Visma here has actually lined himself up for a good opportunity here tonight to actually get another win in this race. Yeah, looking good, but Kennedy and Kennedy and Visma are, are on fire straight off the bat, and it looks like Gerard's going to be the cork in the bottle straight away in the first few laps of the 116 already on the on the back of Visma. As they make their way onto the back straight now for the first time in race number two, there's already pressure coming for the majority of the drivers down into the final couple of corners. Now comes Stephen Kennedy, leading the way at the Mourner. At the moment, JJ, Jack saying, overcook that corner like Hamish overcooks his steaks. I do not overcook steaks, all right? I cook them to medium rare perfection. Thank you very much. Stone Street has done a twist a right oh. in the middle of the... Like, everyone's missed him. Everyone's missed him. I'm not sure how he rotated because that's a fair way down the down the run to get rotation from there. Oh, he's hooked the curve. What's he done? He's hooked the curve. There's right Harry on the back there. Ooh, oh, was there contact? Don't know. It's too hard to tell. Was it Cowie? Oh, mate, that was a tough one. Look, you're off the back of his car. He's pulled it in. 
See if there's contact. Oh, no, he clipped the grass. That was what it was. He hooked the grass there, got the oh, wheel spin up. He was up. lucky, man. The way he spun that around. Everyone went around him and missed him completely. Again, tight field. You spin it, you end up at the back of the field. There's a gap of, what is it, um, 19 seconds from the top of the field to the back. Um, and when he spun, he would have been in the 10 to 12 second mark. So once you do it, you do it. This Visma. is how Anthony Visma got into P1 of the race during that little replay period. It was nice and simple down towards turn number four, hooked it up the inside and got the run out of the corner. Kennedy wanted the switch back, but just couldn't get it done that time by. Um, <laughs> big spin, lucky no parking expectors tonight to dish out a parking ticket. <laughs> oh, phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I'm, oh, though I, I would hope that Stone Street would have paid his parking at least, but... Visma leads the way to Stephen Kennedy, to Gerard San Fuentes, to Doble, to Dooley. That's the five. Kirby, oh, Delaney, geez. Dodds, Cow, and Crum make up the ten. That was a massive curb strike. Yeah, though, that from Visma. first part of the chicane, he hit that with a massive <laughs> bit of intention. It was but huge. He actually smashed out a 140.031, the fastest lap of the night, even with that impact through that chicane. Imagine what it could have been if he didn't hit the chicane. Maybe he would have gone into the 39s, boss. I don't understand how I racing doesn't doesn't hit damage with that sort of impact there that was huge i think if you kind of center it with your wheels it's fine it's when you kind of center it with your car that it's not um so i think if they can hit it at least with the wheels and line them up it's a little bit better than uh, than just running it straight on with the car so Kirby, on he's on the back of dooley he's no longer on the back of dooley he is past dooley <laughs> he's, he's currently having a nice little tear with him here we go, uh, two by two, Kirby and Dooley, and the little fish behind them is waiting to take advantage of it. And our usual racing partners of uh, Ty and Dodds is getting their partnership back together very quickly on track again. Oh, look at... Oh, I missed it. I was about to say Mr. Crum is back in the 10, but this battle is just starting to intensify. As we can see them getting the run up towards the little roller coaster section. Nice little battle on hand for us here. Three different teams involved in this battle. It's Ooh, Fishy, lost. it's Froggies, it's PSR. Oh, he's lost three positions in a matter of a couple of corners there just by putting his car in the wrong spot. Fighting with a driver in front of him has put him in an awkward awkward racing line, which has given the guys behind him the advantage to get in on him. That's happened to him twice in two corners. Ty did it, and then Harry did it. Coleman on the back of Lob and Lob on the back of Dyson. These boys are going nuts down the back and fighting their way through to the top. Oh, my God. Did you see down the back of there? That's, um, who was it? Daly fishing all the way along out of that corner. Look at this. These two DPR boys just running their way up the order at the moment and just picking off drivers one at a time. Um, the last comment in the chat, holy dooly, this is a good battle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's great to have you out there, Jack Oz. You warm my heart. But as we come down towards turn number four, we can see, though, Dooley, he has just kind of backed off a little bit. Maybe wanting to let them battle, warm up their tyres, and then have a crack in a couple of laps. I mean, I know I've, I spoke to Scotty Gamble about this, and sometimes it is better just to back off for a few laps, let the let the tyres cool down, and then come yeah. back for a good run kind of across yeah, the next couple laps after that. So Yeah, you'd see that a lot in the open wheeling series mm -hmm. with a lot of downforce. Um, they let the cars uh, cool down a bit, the tyres cool down a bit. Also, when you, I mean, if it was real world here, sitting up in the back of someone's exhaust like this for a long, long time would also heat your engines up as well. So, you know, you don't really need to duck out and breathe in like you do in a real car. You see now, Mr. De, the young Delaney... Um, has now gotten himself a little buffer between him and Mr. Dodds. It is David Kirby at the moment who's kind of blocking off Dodds at the moment, maybe trying to give Ty a little buffer, let him run away with it a little bit here, do you reckon? Maybe a bit of team play between the fishies? Yeah, well, don't forget, we've got a pit stop in this as well. So it may give Ty a bit of time to uh, fuel safe and get himself a better strategy as they come to the uh, pit time, which we expect will be... Uh, what did we say? We're looking at about... Uh, oh, I would say nine, just eight, after 20 nine, minutes, eight, nine, maybe. Eight. About probably yeah. a little bit after 20 minutes because they made the first run home without without a stop. And normally, yeah. I think they can get to as long as 30 minutes in a, in a sprint race feature, um, yeah. but maybe as early as 22 or 21 minutes into the session here tonight. Yeah, so Around the 8th lap or somewhere around there. Yeah. 
it's in though. They are just starting to settle in. Um, Jack saying, <laughs> Chris messaged me just before um, the start saying he wanted me to race tonight um, so that he can have someone to battle with. Unfortunately, Mr. Tomlin's struggling up the back at the moment. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, hopefully next season um, we can get some more consistent runners as well. It's great to see, and we are so thankful to our consistent runners who've been with us week in and week out, no matter where they are racing on track as well. Um, and it'd be great to see more of you out there more consistently next season. Uh, we obviously understand that we are in line with the likes of Scops on a Sunday night, which is why we are now making adjustments to allow drivers to not only get the benefits of racing Scops still, but actually using our races as kind of a precursor to Scops by trying to line up if we're going to, you know, we're, we're going to see if yep. we can line up on the same tracks just earlier in the day as a bit of a practice. Hey, we should get on the back of um, the back of Dooley, Hodds, Cowan, Crump, Jones, Buchanan. These boys have got a train going, oh, they um, have. and they were. They were, at, at one point, about half a lap ago, they were um, within two tenths of each other. Look at how much so. that, um, <laughs> look at how much Kirby's now pulled away from Dooley here. Now that, yeah. now that when he got past Dodsey, that's now allowed him just to pull away and it's given us a nice little train um, yeah. at the moment. So, uh, Jack And the group behind them um, catching them as well. So oh, we've, yeah. got, we've actually got Coleman and Lobb on the back of these two. Um, like crazy. What, what, what is Lob doing back there anyway? He, was he started from the pits. He started from the pits. I, I did mention that at the start oh, of the wow. race. Him and Dyson okay. started from the pits. I noticed them in their pit boxes when we were on the start-finish camera, which is above okay. the P1. I noticed them on the right-hand side. I'm like, oh, well, they're starting from the lane because they're actually in their cars. Um, yep. So they started from the lane just to maybe make oh, make their night more interesting. The oh, here comes Lob Look too. Oh, three wide. That was a great team move. That was sensational. He's come across over and under, got out in front of Daly, and then let Lobby get in front of him. That was just wicked. And I wouldn't be surprised if they're going to continue that swapping and changing throughout this race. Yeah, they're, they're both um, driving extremely well and both on the same pace too. So they are using their strategy to absolute perfection if you're out there watching take notes because this is how you race through the field like a team this is how you work together like a team you give up one spot to your teammate so you can both oh, gain look at that jones on crumb see no, they are in a intense battle with Seven buchanan these. as well here comes buchanan up the outside of crummy here as we come on through Crummy just lets him have it at this oh, stage. Look at that. He's Jones ran it wide, though. Oh, massive curb strikes. Oh, have a look and at here that. comes One, two, Lobby. Three, four, five. <laughs> that was like watching the Ruse running across the golf course. Boop, 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 boop. They need a... <laughs> Jack makes a good point. They need a. They need to name that move the old DPR left-right good night. Just one person knocks you out of the way while the other car comes through. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm more going for the DPR shimmy shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one as well. There's a nice little battle we got going here. Lobby and Dyson coming into this one now. Crummy slots in behind him here. He's going camping behind that rear wing. Slots out of it though into the braking zone. Here comes Dyson up Look the inside this. as well. Too wide. Is he going to shut the door on Dyson? No, he's kept it open. Well done. That's some quality driving there by Crummy. He was very aware of what was going on the inside of him and didn't um, over... I didn't close that door at all. He kept yeah. it nice and open all the way through. A lot of racing room left from him there, which is good to see. But still, you know, not like not leaving two doors open. He hasn't left the double wide door open. He's just opened up one, yeah. but left him enough room to uh, not impede him in any way. But all of a sudden, Lobby and Dyson's run becomes a lot more interesting as they get involved with this battle as well. But of course, 100%. they've got they've got their other DPR teammate in Ryan Jones just ahead of him. So now all three of them can start to work together. Yeah. Oh, he's, I thought he was going to run out the back of him, but he hasn't. The way these boys under brakes keep momentum going through tight corners is ridiculous without impacting each other. Uh, Buchanan's doing a real good job here. He's a bit of the bottleneck here because he's got 2.7s on the back of uh, Cowan and um, Dodds and Dooley. Uh, so they're all pulling away slightly. So Fuentes is attacking Kennedy a little bit now too. So... Cowan on Dodds. There's battles going left, right, and centre where we can see people just putting the pressure on. So Fuentes is, I tell you what, mate, he is improvement is oh that could have been that could have been quite easily uh, a spin then. 
Is he going to get him under brakes here? So he's made the move. Oh, that's a he's, nice uh, move. Well, is there an over and under? No. Oh, that was... He's, that he's was, maintained momentum beautifully. That was such a buttery, yeah. smooth move there from Sam Fuentes. That was like, cool. It was textbook. That was like that butter corner. on freshly cooked popcorn. Oh, mate, mate. <laughs> but, butter on freshly cooked toast. That was just phenomenal. <laughs> just perfectly melting in, uh, getting the seeps and cracks. And look at this gap, though, that Visma's starting to pull out now on the front of the field. Could yeah. this be another scenario like last week out at Hockenheim where he just starts to run away with it and by the end he's taken another win? Oh, mate, it looks like it. It looks like he's settled into it and the fight behind has slowed everyone else down. But did you see the three different lines then and three different bounces? Yeah. That was unreal. So they make their way through once again. Just using our little static cameras here just because it gives us a nice little view of those lines that we mentioned, Sinker, in their most basic form through corners, where drivers are braking and how they're kind of attacking certain areas of the circuit as they come through the final chicane. And even there, you could see San Fuentes looked for, went for a bit of a tighter line through the first part of the yeah. chicane, where Kennedy looked to straighten the whole chicane up. So it's interesting to see how these different approaches through these corners can lead to and certain drivers getting advantages over their opponents. And literally, it's, it's only a tenth or two. It, it really isn't a lot of difference. They all add up across, you know, 16 corners or so. But um, it's just, it's amazing that it's just a 10th here, 10th there. Down into turn four, into the suspension cam now of San Fuentes. I just want to see what kind of load comes onto this tyre or unload comes onto that tyre through that corner. You can see massive amounts of kind of, of, of unloading from that tyre through that corner. You can see the suspension moving down towards the ground through there. So there's actually quite a fair bit of lower elevation change in kind of the inside of turn four. It's very interesting to see. It'd be interesting if we can eventually get data from SDK that allows us to see what kind of tyre wear is affecting each car and where yeah. certain parts of the track are affecting the tyres as well. Yeah, yeah. Coleman and Dyson uh, swap places during that. Um, and Buchanan in the back of Jones is down to two tenths. This group here is is just like a harmonica. They they went down. They were all under three tenths a couple of seconds ago, and then they all went under. Look, they're all now at four tenths, and then all of a sudden they cost the tenor again into the two tenth range, and it's so close. There's gaps appearing oh, like this one here. He's that, gone a though. bit wide, Buchanan. Oh. oh no, he's nearly lost it and he's lost three places in that. It could be four Ooh, as well. With take him as well. Oh. And again, that just comes down to the learning of, you know, maybe not trying to go for an outside move there. Maybe he's not as aware of this track of where the most beneficial moves happen around the circuit as Dyson comes oh, in, in for his pits. stop. Dyson's in the pits, first in the pits. So he's gone for the um, early stop here. So maybe he's yeah. trying to get a nice undercut done on those guys. Yeah. Come out in clean air and just push on for quali laps here for the next sort of 10 minutes until they come into the lane. Yeah. And don't forget, Buchanan's mistake there, um, he had got four cars within three tenths. Yeah. You know, it's like if you do make a mistake, you are going to lose four places. Exactly. Because we're talking, we're talking 12... Of um, you know, 1.2 seconds um, across a field of four cars running so close, it's easy to lose. So, just to confirm, Dyson actually had a meatball. Oh, okay. I wonder how he copped a meatball. Oh, I can't work out what from. Oh, fair enough. Okay. I suppose if he can't work it out, he can't work it out. It's just one of those things. Maybe, maybe from a curb strike, he uh, he hurt one of his suspension. Um, well, we have seen you know, them very the aggressively hitting those curbs. Yeah. Uh, it could have been quite easily a curb strike. Oh, look at that. That was a nice... It was a bit of a wide run there from Jones up ahead, but Coleman trying to catch yeah. up to Luke Crum. And I tell you what, there's something about David Coleman's car. When, when there's a scrape on the side of it, it just looks right. You know, it, it's just... It doesn't look right if he hasn't got any war wounds on is it. He, and I reckon we put him off there if he's listening to it. Is he? No, has he got? Was he? Is he a lap down? Is he, was that a yellow flag? No, 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 no. It wasn't I mean, a blue, a blue flag. flag. He, he was. was he was in that battle, genuinely. Like he's in this battle genuinely. So whether he has a slow down, maybe, and he's let them slight go. Slight wheel contact, as I can guess. Okay, okay. Um, that that could be possible. Um, maybe Colm is listening to us, and we just keep making him laugh. <laughs> maybe, or or he or had a, or, or, he, or he had a slow down as well. So Dooley in. Yeah. For his first stop. Uh, Stone Street in as well. So in yep. come two more drivers. So we're getting into the nitty and gritty 
of the pit stop period. But yeah, I reckon Coleman, maybe he had what Lobb had. He had a, a slowdown coming up towards the chicane and he got offline just to let the drivers through, doing exactly what Lobby was meant to do, uh, which is yep. why he got his penalty. So We've missed um, Lobby's pit as well. Lobby pitted. Uh, no, Lobby is not pit. Lobby's up here. Oh, no, no, that's, um, that's... Sorry, I'm reading the long line, wrong line. Well, we can see that Lobby is moving up into the world of the top 10 at this stage in time. His teammate came in on lap nine with a, with a meatball for unknown reasons, although we suspect it was slight wheel contact. But he's now gotten that fixed as well as uh, Lobby just hopes to run the gauntlet here, make his way up through the field and get the attack on up towards the front. But to be P8 just under halfway through this race, incredible effort from him. And uh, he'll be right up there towards the end of this race as well. 100%. We're getting close to the halfway mark at the moment. We're at the 18-minute mark. Two more minutes, so a lap and a bit to go before we hit the halfway. And we expect to see some pits in the next two laps. I think we set around 15 to 18. We're going to see bulk of them. I think maybe, three laps. maybe maybe drivers uh, maybe we go. drivers they're dropping going, now. They are so they're coming in. So just may, maybe delaying. they're going for that slightly earlier run into the lane to stop the undercut from happening. That was a big curb strike from Lob. Like that was that was like running right over a roundabout. Just full launch. Um, I'm just called something in. Uh, I can't. I don't know if it'll let me scroll back. I haven't got anything that makes That's me believe that Crummy's been involved Crummy. in it, so I'm not yep. sure. All right, so these boys are coming out. Doubles of Fuentes, Delaney and Dodds. No swapping in the pits, as we can see. Here comes Doddsy as well. There's Dooley coming down the straight, and there is Dyson. So, in fact, he has actually gained a little bit of time here on Harry Dodds through that... Um, through that little run, but Dodsey did a masterful job there to stop the run of the undercut from really hurting him, and he stayed out ahead of Dodsey. In fact, actually, I think he's gained a little bit of time on, on Dyson there, so... Elaine, he just passed the Fuentes like he was standing still. Oh, that is a great job from Ty there, taking advantage of being right on the back of him out of the pits. Dobles also jumped San Fuentes through that stop as well. Um, it was slightly faster than San Fuentes. Buchanan, though, has actually currently got the fastest stop of the night. Uh, oh, no, he hasn't stopped. Sorry, Doble has the fastest stop of the night. Sorry, 14.87 seconds was the stop. But one thing I've noticed as well, Sinker, fastest run through the pits was uh, Dodds. 31.3 seconds on a 17 second stop. That is absolutely flying through the pit lane. Yep. Uh, that is um, phenomenal. The quickest pit itself has been Dyson 15.50. Um, we've just had Kennedy Kirby, Travis Daly, Luke Crumb, Buchanan, Ryan Jones all jump into the pits now. This was Coleman and Jones down toward the final corner. They had a big knock, and it was a wild ride down towards the second to last corner. Very lucky almost... not to collect anyone. Yeah, that was um, Coleman readdressed that, and um, uh, RC made note of it. He's lucky not to get hurt off the back of that, but it is Brad Doble at the moment with the best run through the pits, as we mentioned. This is how they lined up through their pit stops. It was a 14.8 second run for Doble. It's the fastest run so far. Douglas, come on, Daly. Put the Mustang in for the undercut and fly the forward flag, old son. Oh, we need to get <laughs> Daly in a Commodore now just to, just to annoy Ray. <laughs> Don't think that'll happen, mate. Probably not. Last lap round for Dyson was, in fact... The fastest lap of the race, a 139.90, including the fastest final sector as Visma now comes into the lane. Yeah, let's see how he comes past with Lob. And he is Lobby. Is he going to join Lobby him or is he going to keep on going? No, 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 no. His first one was when he actually he started in the lane. Uh, okay, yeah, there's his starting position. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so he started week. in the lane. Yeah, was so. in. Here comes Lobby. Lobby's already come past. 
Yep. He's continued on. So Visma and Cowan are in the lane. Here comes Coleman with Doble all over the back of him. Is Doble going to jump Visma here through the pits? Coleman stayed out. Visma's now leaving the lane, so it's not been good enough there for Doble. Perhaps Coleman staying out just hindered his run a little bit there as they come through turn number one once again. Lap 14 here of our 40 minute running, but it's a big slide from Coleman through the corner. Possibly Is that contact a contact or a slide. Oh, that might have been a slight contact. I was looking at the race time at the time it happened here. This uh, is he was trying to he was trying to get back in there, but Dobel was still there, so he couldn't get back in. So that was when he went off. We're just gonna do a little sneak yeah. here and just go back. And I think uh Dobel was trying to get control as well. Oh there was was there net code? No, there was no that no. that was contact. No. That was contact. Yeah, there. Contact just here. Yeah, Bang. that's the contact right there. Yeah. So just could not pull it up. And there will be questions on Brad Doble from Race Control as to why that's happened. Um, so we'll have to wait and see what Race Control say about that as we continue our way on. So Lobby leads the way, but he does need a pit stop in this one here. These are our lap time histories from himself and Anthony Visma, who was leading the way and will lead the way after Lobby's stop. Lobby has been faster across the last five laps compared to Visma, so he has been absolutely flying out on track as he brings it in. Yeah, I'm not sure um, that... Oh, I don't know, don't know exactly what happened there with that uh, racing offline, online, and the readdressing. Um, I guess we'll talk to the boys about it a bit later. But something was said about race control. They went through the descriptions, but I couldn't quite get it. It was not, not loud enough for my little ears. But we've got uh, Coleman sitting there in seventh now. Um, geez, that was a very offline uh, move there. Yeah, he kind of just kind of just ran it through a little bit. So Lobby's in though. He is now going to come out ahead of. Oh, actually, no. Dooley might have him here. Possibly. Yeah, it's going to be close. Uh, going to be very close. No, no, he's, he's, got, he's him. got him. Got him. Uh, no further Isn't action for that incident zero, zero, as well. One. And six four zero. Oh. Uh, no further action. So that was yeah. the incident we just saw before. So no, oh no, that was the one where we sort of sliding into um that, that, into the that last was, corner. That was uh, oh yeah, it was too. Sorry, yes, that yeah. was the one into the final corner. That's where Coleman uh, readdressed it, and uh, they all went off happy clapping and uh, enjoying their racing. You see, there is Visma's sector one comparatively to Lob. Of course, Lob though just came out of the lane, so we'll see. What that compares to across the rest of the run here tonight. And we'll see if Lobby can get up onto the back of him at this stage in time. Lobby's now gotten past David Coleman. Coleman does need to come into the lane, though, for a pit stop unless he's somehow a magic man and is able to get this thing to the end, which I highly doubt that's going to happen. Um, and yeah, then he's he going be able to, to lose a few places, enough. though. Yeah, he will. He'll be down around 14th position around uh, Crummy and Buchanan when he goes in. Um, Lobby looks like he is in cruise control. That looks so effortless. Oh, here we go. Dyson on the inside of Dooley. It's a nice little move from him there up the inside, so... Well, Dodsey's having a sniff. He's there. He's not quite close enough to really put the pressure no, on Doble yet. just yet, but he, he's letting him know that he's there. And just reminding yeah. him that he's on his way to getting up on the back of him, although Doble may have a bit of an asterisk over his head after the incident. Coleman's now into the lane, so he now comes in. We'll try and fix that car and continue going, but this is the man that we're concentrating on, Doble. He's got the wall wound on the front of that Mustang, and it's whether iRacing decide that he deserves a penalty or not yeah. for that incident. That, so we'll um, wait and see. That group of three we just saw go through of uh, Dooley, Doble, and, and Dodds through the uh, last chicane, um, Dooley and um, Doble both took the first part of the chicane over the curb in the second part, whereas Harry avoided the first part and hit the second part and came out nice and tight on them. So it might be um, a cleaner line coming through there. Maybe that's the and more faster. beneficial line as well. Maybe it, it kind of just keeps the tyre Get on the tyre way down. You can and mate. Buchanan, Crum, and Lone Stone Street, they're all down to two tenths. Looks like Buchanan had come out of that last corner, and Crummy's putting pressure like crazy. Three of these guys are sitting on two tenths between them. Stone Street's is... Um... No further action as well for the incident between Brad Doble 
and David Coleman. So they've decided that there was nothing in it for them to say that it needs to be given a penalty. So Brad Doble gets away with that incident there on Coleman. I'll leave that one to the powers to be. That's it. That's all we can do at this stage. That's their choice at the end of the day. Whether you guys think he got away with murder or not, that's your opinion. And what's important is Ryan Jones goes off wide into oh. the sand pit. So he now drops off the back of this battle. I think he's, he's done that to avoid contact because I was just watching his time. He was behind him point, point one seven. So it was just, just around the one tenth. And he must have been avoiding contact. It, yeah. Yeah. I think Stone yeah. Street didn't know he was wide, there. Otherwise, he would have hit him. Yeah, Stone Street didn't know he was there, and then he's just gone to avoid him to try not to yeah. cause anything. So, but yeah, yeah, we um, and of course we appreciate the work that race control does. It's a very important job. Without it, we can't go racing as fair as we do week in and week out. So, we are no, highly thankful. Highly thankful. Got his um, big pressure on Doble now, mate. He has got one sixth, one tenth, two tenth. He is going like crazy on the back of him. See, here's Dodsey all over the back of Doble at this stage in time. Make our way through. Having a great run so far here tonight. I mean... Gary's lost a little bit of pace this season. Yeah, he has a little um, bit, but he's had some great yeah. runs as well. He has, he has. He has some great battles. battles with some, yeah. I think it's the fact that the boys... Um, have all picked up pace and now he's in the battles rather than uh just gapping and going yeah so there's there's a lot more battles there's a lot more intensity in this racing this season that we've ever had like the battles all the way through have been ridiculous that's been really really great to see as well it's been uh been fantastic to see all throughout this season um and it, it looks like it could only get better from here so i we'll have to wait and see and Lobs just pulled in the fastest lap of a 139.582. Oh, mate. He is nice, just nice. on absolute fire at this stage. Yeah. I hope he's got a... I hope he has got a commissioned fire extinguisher on that car because he's, he, he'd be burning up right now. You know, it's... Yeah. It is just ridiculous how good this bloke is. Chris Tomlin's had an incident down towards the back of the field as well. It looks to be a very similar incident as to the first race where he's just come down, missed the braking marker and possibly run it a bit wide. He comes in. Yeah, it's almost identical, in fact, to that first incident. Is that a, so. is that a replay? <laughs> well, I mean, it's a replay of that one, but not yeah. of the earlier one. But, yeah, it's almost um, almost identical. Lobby is catching everyone like crazy. Like, he's down to 1.3 seconds on Kennedy now and uh, really putting the pressure on. Kennedy will, will – I mean, not a pressure on the bumpers or anything like that, but Kennedy knows he's watching that time. 1.7 is down to 1.4, 1.35. So he's slowly catching him up. And absolutely fantastic to see at this stage. I mean, this could be on. This could be a great battle on for us here between Kennedy and Lobby. We know how good Kennedy is. We obviously know how good Lobby is. Yeah. This uh, th this could be absolutely fantastic leading into the final ten minutes. You know, nine minutes of running really left to go here tonight. Lap nineteen is where we are so with nine minutes to go lobby is on the cusp of a top four there's p3 and gerard san fuentes well we know how much better san fuentes has gotten whether he's going to whether, whether, whether he's going to go hell for leather and whether lobby's going to go hell for leather well that's another story but we could be on here Lobby's for a battle a second and a half faster than everyone in the, on yeah. the grid at the moment like but it's just going to be great to see a battle if Lobby catches up to him between arguably the two best drivers in the entire field at this stage in time based on recent performance because San Fuentes has just been so good and so consistent. That corner just no, gave no... Um, that corner looked like it was so slow. Oh. Like it was in slow motion then. Yeah. Um, it it didn't give the car pace justice. But, um, yeah, San Fuentes is... is He's um, improved the leaps and bounds, man. He's he's just he's just next level now. Lobby is down at point two. He is oh he's past him. He's got him. He's got him. What a great move from Lobby. Got him just through there. the S's, nice and clean. This is how he got it done through that section of circuit. They both went out wide for the better run through the corner. Lobby chucked it up the inside. 
That is a brilliant move from the DPR driver. Jeez, he makes it easy, doesn't he? Oh, he does. Hey, I'll tell you what, oh. as well, Singy, you mentioned replays. Are we on for a replay of last week's race? Because currently it's Visma leading to the young guppy in P2. Yeah. With Darren Lobb quickly making his way up towards P3. Could we on for a replay of Hockenheim here tonight? Well, we might have. Oh, I don't know about that one. That could be a slowdown. That was a massive jump. That was a strike. massive jump, man. Does he think he's skiing? He's taking the moguls. Oh, I reckon he's been a skater in his previous uh, years. Quite possibly. Doble and Dodds, this battle's still starting to form with Dooley up ahead. They're not quite close enough to start really, you know, shaping this into something that is intensifying. They're kind of just roaming around and following each other at the moment, waiting for one person to leave a door open, maybe just well, that's, consolidating that's positions. But That's too tense. He's got on Dyson just there. So two tenths looks like it's a uh, just over a car length. Well, there's Dodds off the back of this. There's Cowan in the background. I'm off track. Oh no! Oh, and he's just lost it there. Oh, and clips uh, the wall on the run round. That was um, a bit of touch there from Dodsy. Um, I think Dodsy didn't expect him to slow down that much for that corner. It looks like he slowed down a bit more than normal. Watch this. Oh no. Yep. Boom. Yep, and it was only the slightest touch, and it was right as he yeah. got on the power as well. Yeah. It's unfortunate Team there for slow, Brad. Go slow, speed. These things happen. Current yeah. running order of things, ladies and gentlemen, with six minutes to go in this session, it's Anthony Visma out of P1 at the moment. Retired Eleni out of P2, and Gerard Sanfuentes in P3. It's then Lob and Kennedy who make up the five. Kirby, Dyson, Dooley, Cowan, and Doble make up the 10. Then it's Dodds, Daly, Stone Street, Crumb, Buchanan. That's the 15. Jones, Coleman, and Tomlin make up the rest of the running order. Zinc, once again, not getting started in race number two. In our um, in our pro-ams, it's Jared Safina's leading the boys across with uh, Steve Kennedy in second, uh, Troy Dooley third, and Andrew Cowan in fourth. That is how they group together. There's Coleman. He was still parked up on the side of the track. And he's, start, he's currently blinking at the moment as well, being parked up there. This is what's happened. Could, could it be a safety car? So that was where he was. He was parked up already. He got going again. Um, he's tired. I actually can't see him on track where he's actually... Oh, yeah, he's, there he is. So he blinked back in. Came back out on the grass, looped it up, and then still had to park it again because the car was just was just hurting. So, yep. um, was this how it happened here? It must have been. So, he's come through. How has he done this? Oh, no. Oh, that's... it's a wheel. Hardware. Yeah. That's hardware. Hard left. That's hardware. Yep. He said something go wrong with his wheelbase. Unfortunate for um, Mr. Col Mr. Coleman. That's definitely hardware. You can just see the way the front wheels turned hard left. Yeah, that was like the wheel went full lock, like within a second. Okay, so Dodgy's got to drive through for that contact on uh, Doble. He'll be serving that shortly. Coleman in the pits. Maybe I should have mentioned his name and not just mentioned his number. <laughs> Maybe I won't mention him at all next race. Coleman, I promise I won't even mention you next week in the, in the Enduro. In a top 10 shootout. You, you, know, you know what I reckon, Sinkar? I reckon next week yeah. you just need to not commentate so then Coleman can have a good race. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon that's what it needs to be. <laughs> so Lobby's now also gotten past San Fuentes. He got it done through turn one and he now yeah. sits on the podium. So we're looking to have the same podium as last time out at, uh, at Hockenheim. Delaney, though, not catching Visma at as much a pace as he did last week out at Hockenheim towards the end of the run. Well, Lobby's got um, three and a half minutes, maybe four, with the white flag in the last lap um, to catch Ty, and he's uh, 3.4 seconds behind. Well, can he do it at this stage? It's Visma, Delaney, and Lob. That's the three. Will that be how they finish, or will Lobby get up on the back of the young guppy and bring the fight to him all the way to the end of the running? Visma's got a nice six-second lead over the front of the fishy car, so he's pretty much run away with this thing, going two for two in the last two weeks. In the um, back, we've got uh, Crumb, Dodds, and Buchanan all fighting within three-tenths of each other. 
Crummy is the cork in the bottle for this little group, but uh, we know that dodge has got again for a pit lane uh, punishment and slap on the wrist. I think he possibly could have already done it. Oh, because we're onto a new lap, and he was up a fair bit further up the field, so I reckon he's already coming and they done. They might it. have already come. He back has, out, yeah. He left. He looked. left pits at the uh, at the start Gary of the lap. Gary Dodds only had one pit entry. Yep, but he came out of the pits at the start of lap 22. So in fact, he has actually done the drive through. So he had a drive through okay, penalty, is. and he has committed to it. So that cool. was him doing that there. Yep. You see, he's, he's all right over the back of the back back of, Yep. Oh, has he got him on the inside? Oh, he's Dacia. made it nice and clean, but oh, the over under is still there. Oh, look at oh, Cannon trying to um, take advantage as well. A veteran move from the most famous man out of the GR86 field there. Now they're going to go side by side down towards the second to last set of corners. As they come on through, Crummy's going to keep it round. Dodsey wants to run up the inside. Just slots back in behind. And remember, towards the start of the events tonight, seven minutes into the first race, Crummy got past him there and Dodsey just slot back in behind. So they've kind of yeah, they've yeah. gone back to I, that. I, I just saw um, um, Visma's name pop up in the chat thing. Uh, maybe he was just checking to see, are we still racing, guys? I'm out here on my own. What's going on? <laughs> Well, he should be uh, on his way to a very impressive victory here tonight. It's been a great run for him here in this race. He got a great start, got up towards the front early on, and then has just controlled the field from the get-go. He has been kind of the talk of the town since last week. He's been struggling in prior seasons and prior races. Last week was a nice breakout moment for him back to where he wants to be up in P1 of the running We'll come around the corner now to start the final lap of the race, and this will be a nice little swan song towards the final round of the season next time out at Sebring for our Enduro. One lap to go here out at Circuit in the Via Magni Core here for these V8 Supercars drivers, the pros and the pro-ams. Visma leads the way to Delaney and to Lob. Lob now only 1.8 seconds off the back of Delaney, but I don't know if he's going to get close enough to him to put an assault on him here towards the end of the lap. But, I mean, Visma, what a run he's had um, in the last two weeks. If he can do this sort of stuff next season, oh, we could have a challenger for Lobby coming our way. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, I expect to have a lot more challenges for Lobby coming the way next next season. We'll get uh, Mr. Dyke back. He's back on his rig now. I did see he was doing the scops the other day. So I'm pretty sure he'll be back uh, for another season of racing. And um, I'm sure with our scheduling... Um, Changes will attract a lot more boys too. Well, it should be absolutely phenomenal to see them all out there with us on track. We, uh, It's been a, a great season so far, Sinker. It's going to be great to get into the Enduro action, action starting on Tuesday night for us. Top oh, 10 yeah. shootout action out at Sebring should be Top absolutely spectacular. And I've then, been waiting oh, for it all season. It's going to be so good. I reckon next <sighs> season we need to run two. We need to run two we are enduros. Next oh, season. Oh, I said that it has oh, to be a minimum of two top 10 shootouts. Please, I love them. Please tell me I'm back in the supercars booth because that's going to be so fun. But <laughs> around the final it's... couple of corners comes Visma just quickly. And what a run it's been for him here tonight. Through the final chicane for the final time out at Magni Core. And it is P1 for the Accelerate Sim Racing driver, Anthony Visma, after a fantastic run home. Ty Delaney's going to come through for P2. And Darren Lobb will make this up two weeks in a row for the top three here, here tonight. So we got a win back here tonight, although he did lose it in the end. Yeah, um, let's go to Fuentes. And there's Sam Fuentes in the background getting P1 for the Pro-Ams. He's pretty much locked out this championship now. Kennedy's going to get P2 for the Pro-Ams. And then in P3 is Troy Dooley. So what a run here for Performance Sim Racing. Two cars on the podium. If Kennedy wasn't a late entry into this series, it would have been a PSR 1, 2, 3 once again with Cowan in behind in P4. Yeah, definitely. Well, another, another great night of racing. Some tight battles all the way up and down the field. I hope all the viewers have loved it and enjoyed it as much as me and you do. Um, the curb hopping tonight has been... Oh, mate. It's been... It's like watching a kangaroo jump tell you what it's 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 unreal some of them two wheels some of them one wheel um but it's been ridiculously fun to watch mate have you Battles got a horse in your room done. a horse no that was me going <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounded like a horse so you could uh you could <laughs> oh, it was nearly as good as mine we've gone off the rails now but 
Mr. Visma P1 here. My racing tinnitus. <laughs> <clears throat> There's Mr. Visma. Well done out there, mate. Um, it's good to see another show put on. It's a bit. I'm feeling deja vu, mate. Oh, mate, it, it is straight up deja vu. I mean, Visma, yeah. Delaney, and Lob top three once again. Yeah, yeah, you absolutely and, um, love to see it. And and uh, Sefuentes Kennedy as well. Who was the third the other the other night? Was it Cow? It was Cowie the other night. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think it was Cowie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I believe Crosby may have been in there too, but. These are our provisional. No, fe- oh, okay, fourth, yes, that's fifth, right. Yeah. Yep. So these are our provisional race results here tonight for our feature race. It'll be Anthony Visma out of P1 for Accelerate Sim Racing ahead of Tidal Annie out of P2 for Fishy Motorsports and Darren Lobb in P3 for DPR. I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm repeating myself for some reason. I don't know why. Um, maybe it's because it happened a week ago. Uh, Gerard Sanfuentes out of P4 ahead of Andrew Dyson in P5 here tonight. Stephen Kennedy comes home in P6. With David Kirby out of P7. Troy Dooley and Andrew Cowan will come in behind in P8 and P9. With Brad Doble making up the top 10. Travis Daly, Troy Stone Street will come home in P11 and 12. Luke Crum, Harry Dodds, Will Buchanan. They had an intense battle towards the end. They'll come home and make up the top 15. It'll then be Ryan Jones, Chris Tomlin in behind them with David Coleman four laps down off the lead. These are how our Pro-Ams lined up in the end. Uh, Gerard Sanfuentes out of P1 ahead of Stephen Kennedy in P2. Troy Dooley in P3. Andrew Cowan out of P4, Travis Daly out of P5, Luke Crum P6, Chris Tomlin in P7. And then up towards the pros as they run home. It was Visma to Delaney to Lobb, Dyson, Kirby, Doble, Stone Street, Dodds, Buchanan, Jones, and Coleman in the end. So it's great to see some good running out there, Sinker. And let's bring on Sebring. Let's bring on Enduros. Let's bring on the top 10 shootout starting this Tuesday night. Yeah, I can't wait. I cannot wait. Some of these boys haven't done the top 10 shootouts yet, so it's going to be different for them. Um, and they're going to love it. And it's a good way to finish off the season, i tell you what. <clears throat> but next season, we'll definitely be having two. As much as the boys hate it, and they, it's a pain in the ass for our team in the back end, uh, but it's just so much fun to broadcast. And and the guys love it. They get, they get I mean, not every week, but they, they get that adrenaline rush. They get nervous about it. They get the sweats about it. It's... It's not easy. It is not easy by any means. So we're just waiting our drivers now to come in and have a chat to us here tonight, and then we will get out of everyone's hair and pass it over to JP for tomorrow night for the Formula V action. But it's been a great run this season so far, Steve. And um, you know, next round it's going to feel it's going to feel weird calling that final supercars round, and then kind of. You know, going away for three weeks, barring our Formula One rounds, of course. Um, two of them out of those three weeks on a Wednesday night. But it's going to be going to be very, very interesting to go from broadcasting the four nights of SRW to suddenly having my week freed up. So, um, but it's going to be good. <laughs> reckon I'm going to feel, mate. Miss is going to say, <laughs> "Oh, you still live here?" Hey, no, you need to work harder in those three weeks because you got to get the oh, prep stuff for Actually, the next I season. I do work a lot harder in those weeks. Yeah, I tell you right now. You know, so yeah, right now um, I've got a lot, a lot to do in 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 the next couple of days and the next couple of weeks. That's for sure. But you know, it's all part of what we do. It's all part of what we love doing, and um, I just hope um, it's still fun for everyone. Everyone's loving what we're putting together. Yeah, and I, I think season two, from what we've kind of discussed, is looking to be an absolutely massive run. And if we can get everything, you know, if we get all the ducks lined up and, and get everything in line with how we need it, then it's going to be absolutely mega to come for us. So um, cannot wait for what is to come for everyone at home, for you to enjoy the action that we have on offer for you as well. Uh, my phone at the moment in front of me is having an absolute blare. So... Um, <laughs> We got Anthony <laughs> Mismo, we got Dar- we got Darren Love, we got Troy Dooley in there as well. Ty Delaney. Why yeah, Troy was P three of that. Let's pro-am. start with Troy. Let's get the move. Let's get the show on the road. Get yeah. these people you drag, back to bed. You, you drag in, you score. drag in Troy and I'll get him up on screen for everyone at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Dooley, how you going, buddy? Yeah, good man. So how are you, Singer? Oh yeah, mate, I'm loving it. I I love my Tuesday <laughs> nights and Sunday nights. I'm I'm, I'm, st- I'm loving it more than my racing at the moment, to be totally honest. <laughs> oh, yeah, cool. Oh, yeah. Even though, hey, even though I had uh, two podiums on uh, Thursday night, mate. Oh, Heat two nice. and three. Yeah, top top step, which is something new. It's not really something you would relate to talking to me, but um, <laughs> no, but you're good. making a regular appearance, mate. You're getting faster and faster. Yeah, probably a little bit more time behind the wheel, so um, 
and learning a lot with uh, joining um, the PSR team. So the boys help out heaps. Yeah, they're a little bit more. Um, I, I like the way they organise. They get their practice sessions together. They help out. They work on the setups together and everything like that. You guys got a really good team environment, and uh, it shows because the um, the PSR boys are, are pretty much always top four in in um, in Sunday nights and um, are doing really well on um, Tuesday nights as well. Yeah, it's a good thing to get in with the team if you're not with one yet. Um, yeah, reach out to different people. They uh, probably more than likely love you to have you. Well, we yeah, one hundred. We, we know how much Sinker likes poaching drivers, so we don't need another team doing that. <laughs> thank you. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'd love to plant the seeds. And... Uh, oh, but mate, it, it was it was a great run from you tonight, though, Troy. Of course, um, getting back up onto the podium once again. But I just want to quickly talk to you about your teammate Gerard Sanfuentes. I mean, we we've kind of surmised now without Darren Lobb being in this series. We reckon Gerard's been driver of the season so far. Like he has he's been on absolute leaps, fire. He's got a leaps and bounds, and uh, that's probably uh, half the uh, reason that I'm a little bit quicker or a little bit more up the front. Is uh, yeah, Jerry help, helps out so much, and uh, yeah, he's uh, yeah he's gone next level now, which is good, great to see. Um, and uh, yeah, good luck to him. Oh no, no, it's the, it's nothing better than having a teammate that's excelling. Yeah. And it, it lifts the whole team. Everyone starts picking up on what he's doing and, you know, giving each other tips in the environment you guys have got. Oh, um, you guys are going to be some, some weapons out there. Yeah, no, it's good to see. And um, um, we used to have Trav on the team as well. He's switched over for a little while to a, a, another group. Um, he was great to have in the team. Um, yep. Yeah, and even um, young Schultz as well has come leaps and bounds again. Yes, he has. He's improved heaps. He, he did get the devil back in him last week. <laughs> Tuesday night, the devil got the better of him. He did get his, um, his old uh, alter ego came out for a bit and screwed him. Yeah, but, yeah um, he was devastated. But the week before, um, that was um, a Schultzy I've never seen on track before. Yeah, no, he's uh, he's going great. Um, it'd be good to see him back up in uh, to next level, up into the uh, Pro-Ams uh, yeah. at some stage. But, um, yeah, he was devastated last week with what happened. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully Have you got him on auto mute? Because <laughs> he loves to talk. <laughs> a, little, a little bit better. Youthful, ex, youthful exuberance. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> well, mate, uh, do you want to shout out to um, to who gets you guys on track? And uh, we'll get to the three of you that are going to do it tonight. Two of you are going to do it tonight, Two. so they'll get yeah. double the pump. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah uh, there's Toyo Sim, Too Easy Finance, Track Racer. Uh, West End Motor Group, um, Cowie Music, can't forget him. And um, don't forget, talk to me, bro. Yeah, reach out uh, to your mates if you need to have a chat about something. Yeah, look, talk to me, bro. Um, that We've got Easter coming up uh, in the coming weeks. And if you've got friends that are single, male or female, no one, whoever it is, you know, it's a good time to reach out to them because that's when a lot of these people that get into their dark spirals um, – uh, things go sort of uh, away from them because they may be left out of family situations or whatever the case may be. So, yeah, it's a good time to reach out to friends and just make yeah. sure they're okay. And I'll say, yeah, I'm a FIFO worker, so there's down yeah, people away from their families over that break as well, which is yeah. pretty hard. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. All right, mate, good luck for the last round. Have you done Have you not done a top 10? You have done a top 10 shootout before. I have, yeah. It's uh, yeah. nerve-wracking, but great fun. Yeah, them up. Yeah, yeah, done a little bit of practice uh, uh, last week. So, uh, yeah, not looking right. Okay, so here we go. I'm looking forward to seeing it, mate. All right, good luck for the last round, mate. And uh, uh, stellar season, buddy, and congratulations. Jensen, there, yeah, and thanks very much for the broadcast. Thoroughly enjoyed no, it. No, it is our pleasure, mate. <laughs> <laughs> right, good night. All right, cheers, mate. All right, who we got next, buddy? Mr. Oh. San Fuentes. No, San Fuentes. All right, don't try oh, okay, it. If sorry. you can't do it, sorry. don't no, no, do no, no, it. No, 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 it wasn't, ready, that, it wasn't no, that bad. No, hang on, no, no. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll fix it. Give me a second. Ready? Yeah. Mr. San Fuentes. <laughs> That's better. Uh, I like it better. You uh, sound a little bit like Cesar Gamero. <laughs> <laughs> well, mate, we've uh, we, we've come to the we've come to the conclusion now, Jerry, that without Darren Lobb, you are the breakout star of this season. And you are quite possibly the best driver on track this season without Lobby out there. I mean, 
what a run oh, you've been having, mate. <laughs> I mean, come on. Like, <laughs> you have been Mr. Consistent yeah. and you have yeah, been sure. up there week in and week out. And, you know, it just seems that every single week we've got something to talk about regarding you on track. And it's always positive. You know, we've never had anything negative, I don't think, this season to talk about you. No, well, I've been pretty, like you said, it's just consistency and I haven't really made that many errors to be honest this year so a couple a couple in that first sprint race and even my quali i used to um struggle in quali but um i struggled tonight but i've actually been putting some laps down and starting further forward which has helped big time rather than trying to come back through the field or avoiding some that's helped big time yeah. no you, you you've you've come leaps and bounds mate but even even um you, the way you're driving at the moment has actually lifted your team as well because that you guys came close to another lockout tonight as well. So, yeah, yeah, we we're just um, talking about that. It's li- it's lifting everyone in the team. Everyone's sort of like um, hugging onto your coattails. You're becoming the lead driver at the moment, so there's a bit of extra pressure for you to perform as well. Um, probably you don't feel it, but from no. from the, from looking from the outside in, you can see that you're leading the team and, and helping the other guys push forward as well, which is really good to see. Yeah, we've um. The boys, I, I can see they've been putting a lot of practice in, as we all have been, but especially for like a course like today, like we, we haven't raced here. Well, most of us anyway, but um, yeah, the, the practice has really paid off. No, that's excellent, mate. Well, um, next week, top 10 shootout. Um, awesome track. Uh, points on the line. Um, is it 80 minutes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. It's an 80-minute race, and it's a top-10 shootout, so you'll be uh, under a bit bit of pressure. You guys got a strategy for practicing for the top-10? Uh, well, I'll jump on a little bit tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow, so um, I'll try and get some laps in. But um, And obviously, it doesn't give the boys too much. I suppose they got Tuesday. They can have a – that's sort of their feeler race, I suppose, and they can they can work out what, what works and what doesn't. That's that's how we've been working it a little bit. It, how it helps when Cowie and Troy are doing that Tuesday, so that any little tips they can pass on, we can use on Sunday. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. I think that's uh, part of the reason a lot of you guys are improving as well, doing the Tuesdays and the and the Sundays and getting the info when you need it yeah, from the rest sure. of the team as well. Like it got hot out there today. I in the first race, I thought the tires struggled. I thought this second race is going to be a killer, but. I don't know, I must have just looked after them a bit better in the second one and no, nah, they felt fine. Obviously I thought I thought I was gonna hold on for third, but I thought Lobby is gonna he's given it to me for a minute, but no. Nah. <laughs> <You got to. laughs> uh, he's a weapon, man. He came from oh, the yeah, yeah. Start, and he's worked him, his yeah. way through. I think he might have done, done that tonight just to have a bit more extra fun. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. The way he Excellent. takes that I was saying to him, like what the way he takes that last chicane, he just come burning through. I'm like, how did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> he was he's literally skipping through it. Straight he was over like it. two, two yeah. wheels in the air. Yeah. He did get oh, no, he didn't get that last chicane. He didn't get a slow down there. He got a slow down no. earlier on in the race. But yeah, I don't, I don't know how he how he did it. That was just uh, next level. That was oh, crazy. Okay. Nails it every time. Yeah. Well, mate, who do you uh, need to thank to get you online and get you going and get you racing? Yep. No worries. Just Tyson and the boys. Uh, Harvey Norman, uh, West End Motor Group, Too Easy Finance. Night Rider Designs, Cowie Music, uh, Track Racer, and Talk To Me Bro. Excellent, mate. Well, good luck. Uh, you're sitting in the prime position for at least a second. I think we'd have to have a complete debacle from Lobby <laughs> um, to, to lose it from here onwards. Yeah, um, sure. But great to see you fighting all the way through, mate, and congratulations on an epic, epic breakout season. That's Thanks. what I'm going to call it, breakout season. And uh, good luck next week. No worries. Thanks, guys. Cheers, buddy. All right. Who we got? Mr. Delaney? Mr. Lob. Mr. Lob. He's out of P3. Yeah. I'm going to have to call you, start calling you Skippy Lob, mate, because the way you took that last chicane, it was like two, two, two little paws hanging in front. Those front two wheels are like paws bouncing over the top of it like crazy, mate. Did you even, did you even think there was a chicane there? 
Well, I, you know what? I'm actually busy watching a replay now from the first heat from Darcy's car, watching myself go over it, and uh, it's, it looks pretty good. Eh? When you're in the yeah. car, it just feels like it just feels a bit clunky. Um, <laughs> but geez, when you watch it from outside the car, it's like all four wheels off the car. Well, three wheels off at one stage, and one comes down, and another one goes up. It's pretty good. It makes for good TV. Well, we oh, were mate, we were kind of done. thinking as well. Um, like we didn't know you could take Mustangs to do equestrian stuff. Like the, the <laughs> amount of curb strikes <laughs> and curb hops through there, it was just unreal. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was yeah. pretty wild through there. But you know, the crazy thing is, you can dump that chicane like something ridiculous, but you can barely touch the curbs on any of the other chicanes. I, I must have had ten slowdowns tonight across the two races. None of them <laughs> were through the last corner though. It's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, I racing, yeah. I racing still got some work to do. I reckon. On the uh, yeah, one hundred bloody slowdowns. Yeah. The way the boys were attacking that last chicane, there was a couple that you would take both curbs, and a couple that would just take the second one. You, um, I, I reckon you, you you closed your eyes, mate. You just went after the second last corner and just went straight through them. Yeah. It was I, it was murder. I try, I try to I try to do uh, my mate Darson because uh, he actually got a he got a meatball flag on about the fourth or fifth lap of that second race for jumping that curb too hard. He said oh, it actually bent. Got it? Yeah. yeah. He said it actually uh... bent his steering, and then when he ran down the main straight, it gave him the meatball flag. <laughs> so, oh, I, I okay. still had a little get of, I still had a little get of elegance and uh, etiquette going through there. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, mate. Darren Lobb and etiquette. I don't know yeah. if that fits. Oh, be nice. Be nice. It's a Sunday night. We'll be to church today. Come on. Uh, the, kids aren't, the kids aren't listening. I'm going to slag you off. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going oh, to get fun. It was, uh, I, I, know it's, I know it's not the last thing in the world to do to everybody is to, to start from the pits, but uh, we had great fun, and I don't think Darcy and I made contact with anyone, so it was a great race through the field, and... I enjoyed it. I would have. Uh, I would have liked to get through the clutter a little bit early to try to chase down the two guys in front. But uh, it was a good, fun second race. Then. So does that oh, mean man, we're going to see? It's a great you... track in. The, it's a great track in these cars. Well, uh, th does it mean we're going to see you from starting from the lane next time out for the enduro? Uh, probably. Um, no, you won't. There's a top I'm... ten shootout. Oh, is there a top ten shootout? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, that's a bugger. It's you're, uh, you're... Uh, yeah. You know, it's I, I enjoy coming through the field and passing cars and that sort of thing. And it's, you know, I've yeah. kind of just got to the point with Sunday nights where I just want to have a bit of fun and that sort of thing. So, you yeah, know, it's yeah, kind yeah. of as, as nice as it is in the race and you wants to get out front and, and lead. I think next week, 80 minutes, uh, if I'm lucky enough to get out front, it could be a little bit boring. So, yeah, we'll spice up the, we'll spice up the strategy. And there, there may be a few more extra boys popping back in for the, for the final race of the season. So being that yeah, it's an that'll enduro. Be nice. Yeah, and yeah, it's and a top ten shootout that would be pretty good. Yeah, exactly. Well, We've like, we haven't had one all year, so all yeah. year. From, yeah, from yeah, all recollection, year. I've only ever done two. They've both been SRW, and I've ended up in the wall in both of them. So I haven't got a <laughs> I haven't got a good SRW top ten shootout track record, but uh, we'll see how we well, go at Sebring. We'll see what we can do. Well, yeah, I look forward to it. We just need to find a way to throw some rain at the supercars now around Sebring <laughs> and make it real fun. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've got a water bottle. I can just sit there splashing on the screen. <laughs> yeah, see us all go out, pull um... up a step and go up and smoke. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing stopping you, though, from doing the, the shootout and then starting from the lane anyway. Just, you know, get yeah. pole position in the shootout and like, well, right, boys, my job's done. I'm starting from the lane. See you at the end. Yeah, that's a good point. I could put it in the wall and then start from pit lane in any case. Yeah. Oh, no, look, we'll have a go at it. I've got to remember this. There's also, I think time must be getting quite close to me now with the championship as well. So we'll have a bit of fun and see how we go. I, I Look, I'm quite keen to to make a good race out of it. So we'll see how we go next week. I might jump in and uh, can give you guys a bit of mid-race uh, mid commentary while we're going. That should make it nice and interesting. Mate. 100%, 100%. Look, mate, <clears throat> um, who do you have to thank to get you out on track and grace uh, you with our presence every week? Just thanks to DPR Racing, um, my teammate Darso tonight jumping in to uh, come have a bit of fun with me, and then uh, my sponsor here in New Zealand, Barry Manon from Manon Racing Products, uh, big thank you, and then to all the sponsors that put the series on, and you guys for uh, for keeping the broadcast really interesting when we're not keeping it interesting on the weekends, I look forward to seeing you all next week. Excellent mate, you're a legend, um, chat to you soon and be good. See you, boys. Behave yourselves. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Always. <laughs> All right, mate. Who we got? Mr. Delaney. The young <coughs> guppy himself. Two weeks in a row. Two P2s in a row, mate. 
you are just racing out of your skin at the moment. Um, are you sure your dad hasn't been driving for you in these races or what? I mean, I can check again, but I'm pretty sure he's not racing. But, um, yeah, pretty decent race tonight. Um, uh, what's his name? Visma. Crazy fast in that second race and fast in the first race. He was just, I couldn't even get close to him. It was, yeah, not even close. The, um, the, how did you how did you like the track? How did you like those chicanes? Um, I'm not a big fan of that track, but um, uh, I raced it anyway. Um, I don't mind the chicanes; they're all right. It's just that hairpin I just could not get right every single lap. Ah, oh, is that where your weakness was? I mean, the, yeah. the whole track being my weakness, but um, <laughs> mainly that corner. Yeah. So, so the question yeah. is, um, top ten shootout next week. Is that going to add, add, add a little bit of nerves to Ty Delaney? Um, I don't get nervous. <laughs> no, nah, I'm joking. <laughs> um, yeah, top 10 shootout. I'm sure my legs will be shaking um, uh, shaking tonight in qualifying. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't mind Sebring, so hopefully I can do well there, actually. Really enjoy driving around that track. I've done a couple of officials last week. Um, I actually raced against Lob, um, but unfortunately he beat me by 30 seconds once again. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't hate that track. I hope, hoping I can get into the top ten first, though. Excellent, mate. Well, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a fun one. Last last uh, last race of the season, not the year, the season. Um, looks like you'll have second place pretty much sewn up. My um, i racing app won't let me see the ladder, um, but um, I'm pretty sure it's you and Lobby. Uh, and uh, Gerard Sefuentes, the three of you guys, just uh, streaking away at the moment, the way you guys are driving. Yeah, I think um, Lob's a bit far for me to catch, but uh, I think Stone Street's behind me by, like, 30 points. So yep. he's the main one I'm just going to try and uh, keep behind. So yeah. but I'm, that's not going to stop me from trying to go for the win or podium. The or pass on Kirby early in um, in this second heat. Did he let you go through or was that a legitimate pass? Because it looked like he made it a bit soft and thought, nah, Ty, you're fighting for a title. You go for it and lead away. Well, um, to be totally honest, um, he so he goes on the straight. He goes, yeah, go pass, go pass. I said, no, 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 I'm saving, I'm saving, you go. And then um, he just went wide by accident, so I just went straight through. But um, he said <laughs> that um, it wasn't on purpose, but uh, I'm pretty sure it was. He's just a robust guy. <laughs> That's cool. Well, you know, at least at least it was um it was cool. The uh, you could see something was going um uh there. You, there was, I, I kind of thought there was a bit of a conversation going on, but that's cool, mate. Um, listen, who do you got to thank and who gets you out on track? You've got your list. Ah, uh, yep. All prepared this week. Um, big oh, shout sorry. out to well, West End Motor Group, Parramatta Peugeot Professional, Parramatta City Great Wall Haval, West End Parramatta, Parramatta Isuzu Ute. DC Shades, Precision Sim Training, Infinity Designs, Adrenaline Images, Battery Warehouse, Early Beach, Relax, Whitaker Electric, Electric, yep, Electric School, um, MJS Gaming 205, and um, big shout out to Fishy Motorsports and SRW that makes it all happen. Now, Excellent, mate. mate. Legend um, as usual. Just quickly, if you if you somehow win this championship next week. Are you going to show up the final stream in the next show and tell at school or what's going to happen with that one? <laughs> um, I'm definitely not that young. But, um... Well, I mean, come on. We, you still have like you presentations school, at dude. school. Yeah, but I ha- we still have presentations so, at high school. So what, what year level are you in? <laughs> I'm, in year, I'm in year nine. No, I was going to say, you'd be in year, year nine, nine. turns 15 so this year. Do your mates at school know how how shit hot of a sim racer you are? Um, they know I do, I do sim racing. They always say they can beat me, but um, I just do nod and then say yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you tell them come and watch me race on YouTube? Because uh, and then they'll be like, holy shit, that's Ty Delaney. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so some of my mates watch me on um. Sometimes when I stream, but uh, yeah. I, I'll get, I have to get them into the um. SW what high school do you go to? Um, confidential. Can, oh, let's nah. say we can't. I don't know if we can actually ask him that. Oh no, no, no don't, no, don't say that, oh, don't yeah. say it, don't say it. 
Yeah, it's all right. It's cool. All your all your classmates and schoolmates know your race. They should get on and support you and cheer you on like a little cheer squad there. Maybe we should make some some Ty Delaney the Guppy uh, t shirts for you to give to give out to the kids at school. <laughs> I attend the super secret um sim racing high school, so it's company. Yeah, oh, good, good, good. <laughs> oh. Could you please get me back there? Because I reckon I dropped out and I need to go back. <laughs> All right, dude. You're a legend as usual. Thanks for coming on and having a bit of a chat. Did, you chat. did we do the did we do the whole yeah. list? We did. Yeah, we, yeah. we did. We did. Yeah. We did. All right. Mr. Vismar's gonna fall asleep and uh start yawning soon. Take care, Ty, and uh see you next week for the top ten shootout. See you boys. Have a good night. Thanks, mate. See ya, mate. Mr. Vismar, sorry that we took so long to finally get to you um here tonight, but Two weeks in a row, mate. Two wins. You must be on on top of the world at the moment in your Accelerate Sim Racing Commodore. Well, I'd like to say it was all talent, but um, I think I got a bit lucky tonight. I got a good start, got out to an early gap. I think it was around five or six seconds and just held it there for a while, just waiting for everyone to start coming through. And I, that gap just stayed constant. And then I kept my eye on tie and I had a pretty... Good clean run. It was good. It was that good. You took out another gap of six, seven seconds, like you did the other night. Um, it, me and uh, Hamish were like, "Oh man, is this deja vu or what?" It's like same order. You again, and like seven seconds ahead. Except this time they didn't catch you. Last time they were catching you slowly. But um, mate, is it um? <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, have you getting a bit extra street um, seat time, or is it just um, you just feeling the car at the moment? No, well, actually, I had a um, I had as I said, I had a really good start, and I struggled the first heat, so I made a few changes to the car, and it felt ten times better. And um, then all I wanted to do was just once I had that five second gap, just try and be smooth, look after the tires, and just get myself ready for when everyone caught up with say six or seven laps to go, but um, I just kept watching my relative. The gap kept staying at five seconds and I, I wasn't pushing too hard. And I, I uh, probably should say I had a tough race, but it was quite, quite a nice, good race actually in the end. No, nice cruise. Yeah, no, um, no drama or nothing. With your, with your um, adjusting balance and everything like that or whatever you, your adjustment, what's your adjustment that you go to first? What, what's, what's your go-to? Is it bars um, or...? Well, I was having a little Lurch. bit of trouble going, breaking into the corner, locking wheels, and a little bit understeer. So, all I tried to do was just soften the car up a little bit, make a wing adjustment, and like that might sound like I know what I'm doing, but I got no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but see, everyone's got their little thing they do. Some people like playing the with the softness front back. Um, other others go to you know wings and stuff like that. So you've got you've got your go to adjustments that you that makes you understand what's going on to the car for you which is really good yeah well coming from vets it's all fixed set up so that's the reason i'm sort of doing these series now where you can adjust the car learn a bit more about it understand it a bit better and hopefully that'll transition into driving a little bit better so what i've got it's no secret i've got a spreadsheet that tells me all the different aspects of what the car may be doing or whatever. Yep. And um, I just look down, try and apply it to what's happening at specific rates um, and make adjustments and, and do a few laps, see if it helped or whatever, you know, tr trial and error. Mate, that is next level. I'm loving it. That sounds good. <laughs> um, it's definitely something that um, uh, I would have no idea how to do. <laughs> but um, it's good to hear that you go to that level and you take it. You're taking it in and, and it's working for you. That's excellent, mate. That's really good to hear. That's excellent. Oh, um, look, look, mate, if, if I can do it, it's not that tough, believe me. <laughs> I think it's, um for me, it's more about seat time and for, first getting in the car to work out half of what you've got to write down on that list and then apply it because you, well, how, much, how many hours of practice do you get a week? Oh, look, I'll probably try and put in an hour at least three times a week and then on top of that, you got your couple races. So, like, basically, nearly every night you're doing something that you know. Yeah, and, yeah. And, but if you don't, you just wave goodbye to all the front guys. You know, they're 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 putting in the work. And if you want to be 
competitive in the sim these days. Yeah, you, you have to be serious about it, and you have to have a bit of a program, and all the top guys do, you know. So, yeah. uh, very, very competitive. What a lot of people forget is that um, it's all about fun and everything like that. People think that this is like a it's 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 a game of some sort. It's a simulation. That's what it is. And for us people that race, it's the same thing as what the footy players go to football and the soccer players go to soccer. They train. They do keepy uppies. They they. They go for for runs and stuff like that, all to focus on training. So, for us, this is the same thing. You got to have the hours of practice. You got to put it in. You got to go out there, get seat time. So, it's it's the same sort of thing as what you do as as a professional sportsman. So, it's um, a lot of people don't see that. They don't see how much time gets put in and what you have to do to be a fast guy. Because that that's it. Without what you're doing right now, it just doesn't it doesn't happen. Oh, absolutely! Like. If you if you want to get to the elite level in sim racing, it, it, it's a it's nearly a full time commitment. You know, you have to just just to get there, not to be competitive, but like yeah. for myself, I was trying to get into the uh, Logitech series, didn't make the cut, wasn't good enough, and I and I thought I put in a fair bit of effort. You know, so it, it is a big commitment, and you do have to take it seriously, and everyone else does. So just to get on the on the board, you have to put in the work. Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Well, you know what, mate? We appreciate the effort you go to, and you've shown you your level of class tonight. And uh, you've won round round eight and uh, done it with some class as well. So, congratulations. Yeah, thanks very much. Really appreciate it. Pre- appreciate the effort that all you guys put in. And um, while I'm here, I'll take the opportunity to thank Abby Timber, Primal Wheels, Box and Lock, uh, Modern Deck, Blacktown Mazda, um, all, all the guys that show up every week to make the series what it is in the broadcast thank you well you're <clears throat> congratulations mate we're gonna try to um season is planned already we're gonna promote it this week so we're gonna try to do a few little things that don't cross over into the um scops um timeline so that you guys can go and have a bash at scops and it doesn't affect your racing at srw so we get, we're looking at different things to help there, but also looking at a lot more other things as well. Mate, good luck. Uh, looking forward to seeing you in the top 10 shootout next week. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, like, like we are just talking, that'll probably start in a couple of days, do some laps there and make sure we're comfortable, good set up and ready to go for next week. Yes, 100%, mate. Well, I'm sure you'll be up there in the top 10 shootout and me and Hamish will be having an absolute blast calling it. So congratulations again. Um, you thanked all you guys, which is awesome. And uh, please, you know, support our drivers, the guys, the team, the people they call out isn't just 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 for fun. It's because these people contribute um, to, you know, things like paying for for racing. Some, some clubs get sims, some teams get um, all sorts of things. So uh, support the people that support our drivers. Yeah, absolutely. That, that's what we try and do. And we try and promote everyone that helps us out at every opportunity. So um it, in a whole it helps the sim community so thanks again 100%. perfect 100 percent, man you're right on the money uh congratulations again dude see you uh on sunday night for the final run for season one mate congratulations cheers thank you very much catch you buddy well what an absolute legend hamish um Classy dude, obviously putting the time in, and you can see that in his performances on track. Um, and people don't realise how much time you've got to put in. It's it's not um, something that you just jump in and, and do really well at. You've got to got to do the time to 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 get up there on the ladders. No, that's exactly right, mate. And uh, we've been I've just been reminded we forgot to wish Ty a happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, I think that's um, <laughs> someone just taking the piss again. No, because Ty's that, birthday right? is. Uh, Oh, hang on. It is somewhere around this time of year. It might actually be today. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll have to wish yeah, him a happy it, birthday next I week. I think it actually was. I think it's somewhere. What's today's date? 24th. I think he might be right. Yeah. Because um, I know he's he's a couple of weeks before my young fella's birthday. So happy birthday, Ty. We didn't even, didn't even click. Well, that will bring an end to our broadcast here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, and end to our penultimate round of season number one of 2024. We've only got one round to go, and it's going to be enduro action next week out at Sebring. Going to be absolutely mega, the top 10 shootout. I don't know if we've sold that enough, that we're having a top 10 shootout next week. I think we may just need to drive that home a little bit more. 
all week this week. But if you haven't already, please, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe as well, and the bell icon so you are notified any time we go racing here on Sim Racing World TV. Six nights of racing, in fact, and with one round to go, it's going to be absolutely mega next week. Uh, we started out Tuesday nights, obviously, the Warren and Brown V8 Supercars Series, the Wednesday night, Shannon's Insurance, Formula 3 Nationals, the Thursday night, Shannon's Insurance, Toyota GR86 Nationals, which is also a Motorsport Australia official series, the Friday night, IMSA Shadow Series, brought to you by Warren and Brown Tools, the Sunday night, Warren and Brown Tools, V8 Supercars Pro-Am, and the Monday night, Motorsport Australia, Formula V Nationals, which is also a Motorsport Australia official series. Thank you all so much for joining us here at Sim Racing World TV once again. We appreciate your time. We appreciate you bringing, into it, bringing us into your homes or wherever you may be watching from in the world. Uh, just to take any part out of your day to join us here is absolutely appreciated, as mentioned. From myself, Hamish Munro, Stephen Singovich alongside me, we appreciate your time. We appreciate you being here. Stay safe, stay merry, drive hard, and all in all, Let's look forward to this final week of racing to come because it's going to be absolutely mega. But until next time, we'll see you tomorrow night, ladies and gentlemen, for the Motorsport Australia Formula V Nationals for round number eight. And then we head into round number nine. But until then, good luck, have fun, drive safe, and bye for now.